to Welcome, welcome everybody on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Thank you for joining us here on the H3 Podcast because today we have a very special episode. We are playing Ethan. Can you guess the crew member? It's a very exciting game. We're all so excited to play. Uh, There's going to be laughs, surprises, tears, perhaps, and even uh, disagreements. Friendly ones. All right. And there's just so much to look forward to here today. Uh, The game will be fantastic. I'll explain it later, but it's going to be fun. Basically, you guys, we've voice changed. You'll have an avatar, and I'll have to guess who it is without having any physical clues. I will be Helen Keller. <laughs> You're not there. You're not this there. Is, this is You're me when there. I can't see them. You're not there. You're not there. You're, You're not, not there. there. You're not. Uh, today we have no sponsors, so I especially want to thank all of our members. Thank you. Want to thank all of our members who we love. And actually, yesterday, welcome to them all. We everyone got an authentic experience on See You Next Tuesday which is my live stream from home that I do for members. Uh, We added a new um, incentive for members, which is Love's phone number now. So so not only do you get my phone number, my credit card number, you also get Love's phone number now Mm -hmm. as well. And so thank you, Love. Thank you. You know, I I figured I'd uh, help drive some members. So become a member today and get my phone number. I, on a serious note, I am truly so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't, it just happened so fast. Like, I, I was just calling Love because I wanted to talk to him on the show. I wanted to ask him about something. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> it went straight to voicemail. <laughs> yeah. And I swear it was your voice. No. Well, I guess all Swedish people sound the same or yeah. something. That's Got him. That's wrong, Take bro. it back. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Take it back. Uh, but it was just like the clearest, <laughs> most intentional number speaking ever. Thank you for hi. This is number seven <laughs> three yeah. five, and it was in Swedish, so I didn't understand. It took me a minute to understand what I was hearing, and the minute I did, I threw my phone and mm-hmm. panicked. Yep. A nightmare. Mm-hmm. Second to late. A nightmare. Hold on. Well, as soon as I realized. I didn't say as soon as I heard it. Bro, I didn't even notice this, bro. I fucking... I just wanted to th- get away from it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even notice that you threw it. It's so funny. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I, you know, <clears throat> did I just... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I don't. Did, I okay, hope I didn't play the. <laughs> <laughs> why did he? Why did he? Why did he say his number like that? <laughs> Seven, three, five, four, three. It was like yeah. so. I think his the Swedish voice said, "You've called." Hmm. Oh, yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so fast, too. Completely. It wasn't even like, hey, I'm not here right now. I didn't even know I was listening. Yeah. yeah, so I have a custom answer thing in Sweden, but I guess since you call outside from Sweden, it defaulted to the normal one. Mm. <laughs> Very bad situation. You told me you were on the phone with Amazon and started yelling at him about doxing him? Yeah, no. So after that happened, I was watching <laughs> the stream, and I thought you were calling me back after mm. the dox. And it was a poor Amazon work. And I was like, dude, what the fuck? You just docked my whole ass <laughs> number. And he was like, uh, excuse me, this is Amazon. I'm at your door? Yeah, I'm uh, at your door with like... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, bro. Yeah, uh, okay. The whole sequence of events was so funny. <laughs> Holy fuck. You know, and it's, like, it's this ongoing joke that I'm always putting out uh, private info. And I, I, it's really not, I'm really not doing it on purpose. I'm quite yes, frustrated you- by it. And somehow I'm sure it's Dan's fault. But well, we'll, I have we can a, look into that. I have a new mm. suggestion that I was actually going to pitch you on. Go ahead. I think that I want to set you up with a point-to-point stream, and you stream here to the office, and then I run you through the button. 
and then I can. That's fucking hilarious. And then I can button Holy you. Holy shit. We can, if we can do that, that'd be awesome. I, I, we might be able to set it up. It depends on the stability of the internet Holy at shit, your place. You but, uh, at this point, it seems like we maybe should do that, yeah? Well, somebody said at this point, Ethan's like a week away from just showing his whole dick on stream. <laughs> We're certainly... Well, you also, and granted, you way. ended up being right. Thankfully, the safe search saved you, but you were talking about the whole Mia Khalifa thing. Yeah. You went to Google Images and typed Mia Khalifa, <laughs> yeah. and all of us in here were like, oh my fucking god, he's gonna get fucking banned right now. I was confident, man. I know what you, I'm doing. Uh, you're lucky that Google safe search worked. Murder I man. knew it was there, brother. <laughs> that was crazy. The bulls. Yeah, that scared me quite a bit. <laughs> well, quite it scared a me a little bit when you guys said it, but I was like, no, I think it's fine. You, and you decided to go back and double check if it yeah. was fine on the stream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about that. But we had a So anyway, thank you to our members who we appreciate. You all make such a huge difference um, for the show's welfare. And I truly appreciate that all. So thank you very much. Uh, quickly, I want to say Teddy Fresh October Drop is out? Or is this a preview? You should, you should know. I have nothing to do with Teddy Fresh. I want to make this clear from now on. Because everybody <laughs> wants says to blame out. me. Everyone wants to say, oh, but let's punish Ela because of something Ela, Ethan said. Which is, it's so dumb. It's like, listen, I have nothing to do with Teddy Fresh. I don't work there. I don't do anything there. I've, I'm divested. That's all on Ela. You understand me? Divested. Now, oh, I don't even know what this is. Ted Five? Did this already come out, Lena? What the fuck is this? What do you call this? Yeah, is this a sweater? Do you call this a sweater? It's a sick hoodie. I don't know. I'm just being. I'm just. A, I'm just. Listen. I'm a spokesperson. <laughs> I'm a paid spokesperson. That's it. That is fire, though. Damn, that jacket goes so hard. You gotta get that for winter, you guys. You gotta. Dude, look at those pants. Are you freaking? Are you freaking me right now? What? Oh, that's hot. What? Oh man, the fits are going crazy right now. Look at this. It's all so insane. You want to look this good? Yes. Good. You should. You Go to teddyfresh.com. All the pants I'm pretty sure are Teddy Fresh as well, except the jorts. Uh, the beret, the turtleneck, the adventure time beanie. I love this skirt, by the way. That's a that's a good vibe, I think. This is all happening at teddyfresh.com. Look at the looks. Look at the hoodies. Look at the everythings. Those hoodies are really cool because you can um, switch up the pieces. Right, they're the modular. Pieces. Yeah. Oh. oh that's crazy. You can zip off the sleeves. You can even, there's a zipper on the back. You can fully zip it in half. It's very cool. Turns into a circle. That's awesome. Not as, well, maybe. You could. This, you balled it up. Um, anyway. Um, there's so much to look at. There's so much to see. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Dump him, she said. Dump and him. how true is that? Yeah. Uh, there it is. It's all happening at teddyfresh.com. Thank you. I have nothing to do with Teddy Fresh. I don't know anything hear, about it. I hear it's a great company. I've heard that. Support yeah. It. I'm proud to work with them, but... Go Other than that, go to typefresh.com slash h3 and use code h3. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're not there. You're not You're there. You're not there. Also, You're I have a... There. You're not there. I have exciting announcement to all the lupus... Um, oh. Watchers? All the, including all, the, all the, the, the lupus saga. A nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. Nightmare. I um, can't sleep. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Nightmares generally happen when you're sleeping. I don't I know. I can't sleep. It's I don't a... know if that makes sense. Dream. Dream when you're not there. Whoa. 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 I can't breathe when you're not there. Oh, I never heard that one. That's a good part. Breathe when you're not there. Breathe when you're not there. <laughs> breathe when you're not there. <laughs> So, um, I was instructed by my dermatologist, they said, no, you're not, haven't done it long enough. So go home, do the cream, the steroid cream, whatever, for four no. weeks. Okay. Then it'll go away. Right. So I finished my four-week course. It's been about three days. <laughs> Did you want me to open these pictures? 
What, Dan? <laughs> Did you want me to open this? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be happy for you guys all to know... This is powerful. ...that my rashes are coming back in full force. My eyes are puffy. They are absent. My eyes are so messed up. And this is just the beginning. I mean, I'm just taking photos for the dermatologist, but keep going. It's not the only photo I sent you. Okay. <laughs> But it's coming back. The rash is back, Dan. What's funny about that? You just look so like the drama of this image. You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. this is Go to serious. the next image. Okay, look, at my, right, right, look right. at my eye. You oh, see? Green, <laughs> fucking smear, There's a smear, rash. It's getting starting to get puffy again. And it really it hurts. Dan. Oh. That sucks. Why is that funny? That it's not funny. Hurts. Okay, well. No, nothing nothing about that's right. funny. Right. No, no, no. It was just the first photo, the way you were uh -huh. it made me giggle. There's, there's Keep, nothing funny about there this you go. image. That's the my, this is here's my other eye. I mean, this, this one you serious. can't laugh about. Yeah, no. Dude, that's a serious rash. It's painful even when I I, I believe you. It looks very painful. What I can imagine. Bro. You you have no empathy. I, you have no empathy. I am empathizing. We are literally I'm here literally for you. here. I am an empath. That I'm litter. not getting empath. That's what empaths say. Yeah. And so go to the next one, please, Dan. Okay. Instead okay, of I diminishing my suffering. <laughs> okay, one second. How about this one? Oh my goodness. <laughs> the drama, wow. girl. Oh. Uh, you see the redness going on around the eyebrow? I do. I do. Just, uh, I'm Is just it? getting lost. Not the there, bro. It's yeah. up the... Oh, where? Well, uh, this is near the eyebrow. The eyeball, I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, it looks very yeah, dry. It looks dry as well. Thanks. Yeah, itchy. See, you see the puffiness on this one. Yeah. It's real it, like, puff. stingy. Yeah. Yes. That's a bad feeling. Uh, people in the chat are asking uh, if you're vaxxed. It's probably the vaccine. <laughs> I am vaxxed, although mm. I haven't I haven't got the vax in a while. Mm. Doesn't matter. Only takes one. Okay, go to the next one, Dan. I think that was it. Oh, is that it? I may, maybe I... Oh, I wait. Mean, I, I think I missed this and one. And this on. is just when I quit, so I don't know what that means. But clearly, there's something going on. I gotta go back to the dermatologist. Damn, you are green in this one. <laughs> yeah, it's on. It's on top of my eyelid, bro, and it's right there on my. It's starting to come back on my cheeks, or not my cheeks, but beside my nose. Yeah. <laughs> so that is a lupus uh, potential lupus update. You still for everybody still not there. ruling out lupus, huh? Not there. POV, oh, you have lupus. There. No, I don't- I'm kidding, I don't think it's lupus, but there is something. You I don't know what it is. You can't rule lupus out completely. You can't- no, you can't you prove it out. within Never. the rich, uh, age range still. Yeah, you can't- yeah. you can't rule it out. No. Yeah, I do yeah. remember you took that test of, um, the risk factors, and I believe you have one out of- Yeah. Out 18 of to 45 or yeah. something. Speckled right. and homogenous, bro. Yeah, no. Speckled and homogenous. They can't take that away from you. No, they can't take speckled. away the speckles. You're all, you're forever you know, Dan, speckled. you as a man who doesn't have a rash around your eyes, is you have a, you're, I'm hearing a lot of privilege from you. <laughs> okay? Like, check your privilege, brother. Okay? I got, I got bags, <laughs> bags around my eyes. It's kind of a disability of a sort. Well, that just means you don't yeah, use enough cream. I cream up, dude. Do you cream your under eyes? I'm creaming. I don't think you have bags. I got bags. I mean, this is nothing crazy. Do I have bags? <laughs> Do I have makeup bags? <laughs> makeup bags! You, what kind of Whoa. cream do you put on your under eyes? Uh, uh, the moisturizer stuff? I don't know. I don't oh, you see, hmm. you're not using... Call it cream. You gotta get the, the fancy stuff. The fancy stuff? Yeah, with like... What the, am I missing? You, it needs to have like the... Um, I don't think it's a cream thing. I think it's just the shape of my eye sockets. No, like we bags. need to cream it, bro. You need if, to you, if you look back when you were 18, did you have bags then? Uh, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, then you're fucked. Yeah. I get the dark circles around my eyes. Yeah. Do you cream it? it's the face shape thing. Uh, no, I don't moisturize. Dude, I, I don't know, man. You gotta cream your bags. Yeah. If I've learned anything, cream well, I, bags, I cream huh? the bags. I, I, the cream might yeah. not be fancy enough. If I've learned anything from the girlies, it's you gotta cream the bags. You gotta cream the bags. Cream those bags. Also, yeah. if you have, um, eye bags and you feel puffy, Putting cool things under your eyes before doing your makeup is very helpful. Okay. Then. Well, I don't use makeup. Okay. But maybe I should. But if and when maybe you would. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not there. Giving you teach tip. me some techniques. Don't. Just Work on these bags. Not there. Not there. Are oh, they no, I, I, get the bag. I was going to say, Chanel? Dan, get, get a lotion with, um, hmm. what's that chemical called? Oh, fuck. There's collagen Hyaluronic and then acid? there's another one. No, not that one. Uh... Retinol, retinol. Oh, retinol. You got to use retinol cream, brother. For your really? eyes? That's anywhere, dude. You got to cream your bags with the ret. I don't think you want your skin turning over under your eyes. 
Well, it's just my moisturizing cream. It's for the right. face, you know. My yeah, dermatologist right. approved it, although apparently I don't even know if they know what they're doing because I'm... But there is specific <clears throat> eye cream, especially as you get older. Um, that's when you should start buying eye cream. It's like specific and extra moisturizing. For the mm. bags. And I think it does not have... Um, you talking about the bags or the face? They make eye cream. Oh, eye cream. Mm. Retinol yeah. is the that. anti-aging thing. Ah, for yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Sam. Be yeah, and, and by the way, ma do. Sam, may I compliment you on a fantastic bagless eye? That's true. No <laughs> bags over there. A gorgeous Thank you. bagless Thank you. eye. And what is your secret to no bagless bags. eyes? Um, elf under eye concealer. Me too. Well, no, girl. You're, you, it, well, hook it up. I actually do use a mask every single night. Um, That's what I'm saying. There, you could tell. There's, there's, there's TLC, and same with you, Olivia. And let me see your eyes, Olivia. I mean, bagless, bagless, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, no thank shadow. You. Not a single shadow. Thanks. Wow. I wow. Add, I add highlight under there. There's some like purple blue. Thank that you. Exists. And I was just gonna say thank you to Cameron for putting a composite together. Right. So you guys wow. can see both sides of my face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need good. some cream on those So that things. I didn't have to flip through all the photos like last time. Yeah, send that to your dog. I will, I will. Oh, I'm being told that's his actual, that's his actual face. I'm so sorry, Ethan. <laughs> it's a Photoshop, man. Chill. Uh, uh, retinol isn't as... Do not use retinol on a rash. Well, it's not my objective, but... It does happen. Because it's on my face. And I lube my face up. Yeah. Right. Or could that be making the rash worse somehow? I don't. I my my doctor knows I'm doing the rat. I showed her the products I use. I'll listen to the doctor yeah. over over a chatter. I yeah. feel like this whole segment was just like a QVC uh, infomercial. <laughs> yeah, that's why I piped in that music. And like you the know, well, the real question is, what does my chiropractor think? Right. <laughs> have you had, have you had your eye sockets popped lately? No, yeah. no, no. And that's that might be what's causing it. I think I know the cure. You got to take one of those balloon things. Yeah. Put it in your uh, duct and uh, you know. Oh, in the tear duct. Yeah. We blow watched it that, up. right? Did we? Well, he yeah. did it through the nose out the. You were very drunk, but yes. We oh, we watched that. that on Friday. <laughs> that's why I don't remember. That shit is demonic. That is that's a crime. Yeah. Those people. That man should be in jail. Right. Like you see the one where he he blows it so far out of his mouth. And then he's trying to pop, this is a doctor, he's trying to pop it with a toothpick, and he can't, and he drops the toothpick or something as the yeah. guy's choking. Uh, he got a fucking balloon coming from his sinus, out of his mouth, and the guy's fumbling around to find a toothpick to pop it. Madness. <laughs> Should I open that one? Let's open that one, eh? Oh, this is what you use, Sam? Oh, this looks fancy. Yes. This is, looks real fancy. Laneige. Laneige. I've used their lip mask. I use everything from them. Oh this is God. my favorite. I put it on every single night. Wow. And it's so, is this something you wash off or keep on all night? No, you keep it on all night. And what's a, what does it mean, mask? How is that different than moisturizer? Um, I don't know, like, the science, but I guess it's just thicker and it's, it, I don't know. I, it's similar I really to moisturizer. Know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take like a ultra moisturizer. Mm. I'm taking a photo of I this for Ela. It's really Extremely good. Extremely wet. Yeah, this is good shit. This is good beauty advice. Y'all shouldn't sleep on this. Laneige. Is this a very expensive product? Um, I want to say it was like forty bucks. Dude, I'm telling you, the 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 cream people they got us all bent over oh. the barrel, man. You don't need that much though. It's very thick. So you only need like a dime size or maybe even a little less to co just coat your face. It's, a, cream. it's an investment, an investment in your skin. No, I love it. I, I love these products, but like these people, they really got us big time on the damn, on the creams. Big you cream right. is crushing us. Mm, big cream. True. By the way, it just reminded me. Thank you, Lena. Ela started this really cool um, shop my page. Do you know what this is? Yeah, it, she like includes all of the products she uses and everything. It's, it's like really an cool. Amazon, like some people do Amazon storefront. This is, I think, it's cuter and like more. And am, oh, you mean like they have products on Amazon? Yeah, it's like a culmination oh. of their their favorite products. So I, I mean, I, and I think, clothing too, since people are always asking her like where she got her outfits from. So this is like a uh, really simple beauty. Way to see that. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. It's all products. It's really cool. Place. 
So maybe I'll do one. I'll have like my uh, Crocs. <laughs> your Crocs, your skincare routine. My Red Bull can. Take it from a guy with my lupus. Shirt, my black shirt. Your donut coffee. Brett Cock. Brett Cock. Cock. But that's really cool. So that's shopmy.us slash ELO. Klein ELO, that is. Oh, man. So let's see. We got all kinds of stuff to talk about here at the K -L -E -I -N. top. K-L-E-I-N. Um, <coughs> okay. I don't know if this is drama. I guess this is turning into a drama that I can talk about. Is that this girl, Froggen, who... Here, let me see. Frogan. Oh, Frogan? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I bear I don't even really I don't even know how to say her name. I just followed her because um you know, there was a lot of uh mutuals that that were following her and it's she seemed like a nice person, so um that that's why I followed her. She was a mod for Hassan and me and Lena are friends with her as well. Okay. Yeah. So she seems like a nice person, but like most things are like some people I'm seeing are just really um, leaving their humanity at the door when it comes to what's happening. The Hamas. Uh, can you link me? Because I, or I just pulled up on Twitter. I mean, this started when she, I just qui quietly unfollowed her. Okay, I didn't like the tweets she was making. I thought they were like leaning too much towards pro Hamas, and I just didn't like it. I didn't want to see it. And so I fucking quietly unfollowed her. I didn't make a big deal. I didn't say anything. But, like, she got to turn it into this whole big thing that turns into a drama that's now being posted all over the internet. Like, I'm sorry. It's a Twitter follow. It's not that serious, okay? First of all, and foremost, she said, uh... Oh, here, let me just check my, my Twitter because I posted a screenshot of it. <laughs> um... She posted, like, yo, one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, let me find it. I didn't post that one. I'll just show the whole context here. Frogan. Um. Oh, God. I'm not... And by the way, people are probably saying horrible things about her, too, which is why I don't want to show this general uh, spray of horrible shit that people are saying. Uh, oh, thank you, AB. Um. I saw this. That face when one of your favorite content creators unfollows you for being pro-Palestine. Like, first of all, the framing of that is fucked up, okay? Let's not even go there. Second of all, thank you I, for saying I'm your favorite content creator. I mean, that's flattering. You know, we appreciate all the, all the audience members. And, I, and, you know, I'm flattered by that. But saying, I, you don't even know why I unfollowed you. You don't know, you, you don't have no information. We've never even talked. And so people start somehow, oh, you, here, this is how people figured out that it was me. Once again, I saw that and I wasn't going to say anything. It's like, whatever, fine. You know what I mean? Like, vent, do whatever you want to do. Uh, the hummus. So I guess this from her Discord got leaked. She said, Eth, uh, Ethan Klein and followed Frogan. This is from our subreddit, I think. Ethan Prob was like, this damn Arab supports Hamas. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. Like, the whole framing of this is really fucking uh, cruel. Ethan, I'll support the IDF. Refollow me. I don't support the IDF either. It's not funny. So, that's the framing of it. And then, the reason I unfollowed her, because apparently she wants to know... It's because of this tweet specifically, and a few others, but this is the one that I, that I was like, I don't want to see this anymore. She said, leftists preach and foam at the mouth at the thought of a revolution happening in America. But as, as soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. Now, this, to me, I'm interpreting this as... Um, let me read what I wrote. I don't want to, I don't want to say anything uh, out of pocket, but... I don't fucking like that. People are talking about me unfollowing Frogan, so I'll explain why. Since she wants to talk about murdering children and burning families alive in their safe houses is not a revolution, it's a massacre. And if you think that's what revolution is supposed to look like, I'm terrified for your idea of an American revolution. Okay? 
She goes, but as soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. She's implying that what Hamas is doing is right. I mean, she's basically all but saying it. She's saying, as soon as a revolution happens in the Middle East, then all of a sudden what they're doing is wrong. She's saying, in her opinion, that what they're doing is right because it's a revolution. And what she's talking about is um, Hamas. It's up to 1,500 people, innocent civilians, not settlers, not combatants, children, babies, uh, elderly. People were viciously and, um, you know, it was just wanton, blatant, full-blown murder, massacre, depravity. Okay? And uh, if you think that that's right, then I don't, I don't fucking want to know you. They burning families alive in their safe houses, killing babies. They found 40 dead fucking babies at this kibbutz where like tons of people got killed. Now, I don't know if they were beheaded, okay? And somehow, some people really care about that detail. So to me, the 40 babies is enough to, to just, you know, I think shooting a fucking baby's body with the AK-47 is, is uh, barbaric enough. I don't really so much care if their heads were cut off or not. And I don't have a hard time believing that they would. Shooting a fucking baby with the AK-47, yeah, I'm sure their, their, their greater humanity prevents them from doing whatever your imagination can run wild with. So, you know, sorry, I don't want to fucking know you. And I think it's disgusting what you said. And I think shame on you. That's what I honestly think, you know. And I'm going to sit here until I'm blue in the fucking face talking about how the IDF is a genocidal criminal institution that Netanyahu should be tried for war crimes. He should immediately resign. I can tell you that the West Bank uh, settlements are basically an act of war. And I don't really believe even that settlers are civilians in the same way that the people who were murdered are. I can tell you that what Israel's doing in Gaza is, is, is as evil as it can be, as evil as evil can be, just the, what they're now doing in response to this, which is blowing up, leveling neighborhoods, cr cutting off water, power, food. Um, I can say that till I'm blue in the fucking face, so I don't want to hear any goddamn person saying that I'm a Zionist, which, by the way, is a dog whistle for anti-Semitism. I'm not a Zionist. The only reason people call me a Zionist is because I'm Jewish, so explain to me how that's not anti-Semitic. Not a Zionist. Never talked about Zionism. I've never talked about Israel having a God-given right to exist or whatever the fuck Zionist, whatever they think Zionism is or whatever it means. So, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? If you can't acknowledge the, the horrors that are befalling both sides, then whatever peace you're fighting for is a, is a joke. You know? If you're gonna be, if you're just gonna sit there callously and dismiss 1,500 people being murdered the way that they were, so gruesome, so fucked up, so undiscriminate, if you're willing to gloss that over, then how the fuck are you ever gonna find peace with Israelis? How? It will never happen. In fact, the only way this conflict ends, if you're unwilling to see the humanity of murdered civilians just because they happen to be Israeli, is probably with the genocide of all fucking Israelis. Because how, how else does this end for you? Because apparently revolution is good when it's killing civilians on a massive, un, un, unmitigated scale. Going house to house, murdering families, parents with their kids right in front of them. So, so these people who are like, like leftist peace, they want peace, they want to free Palestine. You're, if you are so fucking close minded that you can imagine that the suffering of an Israeli person is, is valid, then you're lost. And the same way, and the same goes for Israelis. And again, I say this to them blue in the fucking face. If Israelis can't imagine why, you know, terrorists come out of 
Palestinians uh, are becoming t terrorists. If you don't understand why, you know, some, ha why Hamas, or why some Palestinians uh, want to do this kinds of shit, then you're also part of the problem. You know, people don't want to imagine. They don't want to, they don't care. It's like, Israelis, we don't care about dead Palestinian babies. We just bomb it because, you know what? It's a retaliation. So we're just going to bomb fucking Gaza. And, and on the other hand, you know, these woke leftist fucking, I don't know what you call this uh, branch of leftism is, uh, but they don't care about um, 1,500 civilians being mass murdered. Raped? Yes, raped. Let's not even pretend that didn't happen, you scumbags. Okay, and maybe, f and so maybe, and then, we don't know, 40 babies were definitely killed, maybe only one was beheaded. I don't know if there was more than that, so, maybe it's not as bad as we think. Is that right, Frogan? Scumbag. I'm sorry. Scumbag. What are you doing for peace, exactly? Except coming out here and virtue signaling how fucking left you are, how woke you are, how much you care for peace or the Palestinian people more than anyone else. Like, let's be real about what the world is for a fucking second. And imagine, like, what is, like, you, you support Hamas? What did Hamas do for the peace process? These are your revolutionaries, right? What did Hamas do for the peace process by doing what they did? They... Further entrenched Netanyahu and his insane, radical, right-wing, murderous, genocidal uh, cabinet. So now he's got more support in Israel, where before, Israelis were, they were so over him. People are turning on him. But now, now it's a wartime, so they got to back him up. The Israeli general populace, many of whom, by the way, some of y'all don't want to believe... A lot of them, especially who were killed at this fucking peace party, massacred there, are pro-peace, anti-Israel government, pro-Palestine. So a lot of these people are now being like, listen, we got to defend ourselves. Because that's, they're just human beings, right? And their, their, their reaction is human. It's human. Okay. Not saying it's right or wrong, but like, let's fucking be real about the world we're living in. Scumbag. Sorry, you can't just go on Twitter and type this shit. There's consequences. Fuck you. All I did was unfollow you on Twitter. You want to make a big fucking deal about it? Fuck you. Shove it up your ass, you fucking... You know what I mean? Like, how dare you even say this? As soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. Okay, so Hamas is right. Let's go, Hamas. What else has happened? International community, who was uh, widely supportive of Palestine, is now everyone's like, yo, Israel's got a right to defend itself. Every single fucking issue that was working in Palestinians' favor has now been completely reversed by Hamas. So how the fuck are these revolutionaries exactly helping you? And how is what they're doing the right way, Frogan? I'd actually like you to explain that for me, please, if you could. You know. Sorry. <laughs> There's got to be a reckoning with this level of callous disregard for the death and suffering of, of, of civilians. And everybody wants to look and say... Look at all the Palestinians that are dying. I mean, who gives a fuck about the Israelis? And the Israelis are saying the same thing. Look at all the, look at all the, uh, all the civilians that died. You know, we have to defend ourselves. We got to level Gaza. You know, y'all really want to talk about fucking peace while dehumanizing each other to the point where you don't even care if their kids die? Like, Israelis don't care about dead Palestinians. And Palestinians, well, I'm just speaking generally here. You know, these, they don't care about the, uh, I'm going to say a lot. They don't care about the, the dead Israeli kids. So what's progressive about your take exactly? I'd like to fucking know how you're just not a straight up authoritarian, violent. You know. 
freak. I don't know. I don't understand. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And it shouldn't be tolerated. Shame on you. And that's why the fuck I unfollowed you. Scumbag. Thanks for bringing it up, by the way. I wasn't even going to talk about it. Did I make myself clear? That's all I have to say. And if you think an L take is Hamas are, are not freedom fighting, liberating forces, if you think it's an L take to say that Hamas shouldn't slaughter civilians, then guess what? You're also a fucking freak. And you don't need to watch this show. You don't need to be here. You know what I mean? Like, I love everyone that watches this show, and I know the vast majority of the people probably agree with me or even if they don't right they they can at least see my they understand my my upset why i'm upset right but if you want to go and chat and type l take and all this dumb shit like you don't have to be here you 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 if you're pro hamas go you know what i mean go join one of the fucking rallies in miami or new york where they're saying gas the jews and holding up swastikas. Go go join them. Because guess what? They're the ones rooting for Hamas right now. You go be with them. Because this is not one of those places. And I don't know how much more I can fucking say. That I support Palestine and Palestinian people. In the most extreme. Goddamn. Way possible. How much more can I say it? But y'all, uh, you all don't want to acknowledge Israel's suffering. And you don't want to acknowledge why Israel is now bombing Gaza, which is monstrous, genocidal, fucked up. They shouldn't be doing it at all. If it was up to me, if I was genuinely, I wouldn't bomb them at all. For me, it would be a time to reflect, to think, and to think about how can we address this in a way that doesn't prolong the fucking further slaughter of civilians. Okay? So I don't know what more I can say. But if you don't have the imagination to understand that there's grievances on both sides to the point of having the empathy to understand, then there will never be peace. Ever. People say, what's your plan for peace? I, how can we even talk about a plan when people don't care about uh, the, the opposing side's children dying? What do, why, are we even, why are we even entertaining the idea of peace when Hamas are freedom fighters? And same goes for the Israeli, the IDF, who's just bombing fucking Gaza and all the psycho, you know, ravenous genocidal monsters that are pro-Israel to the point of being like, let's just level Gaza so everyone's living in tents. Like, I'm fucking sorry. You know, and I'm tired of people acting like a 75-year-old land dispute with, like, thousands of years isn't fucking complicated to the point of understanding that there's a perspective from both sides. It's pathetic. It's shameful. And if you care about peace, that will never amount to any real change. In fact, you're part of the problem because you're never going to reach Israelis. Ever. I don't know how much more I can tell you fucking monsters how much I hate the Israeli government without you calling me a Zionist, by the way. And if you see a person calling me a Zionist, just know that they hate Jews. And there's no other fucking way to say that because I am not a Zionist. I've never talked about Zionism. And the only goddamn reason to call me a Zionist is because I'm Jewish and because they think Jews are fucking evil. So let's not let's take the nuance out of that line of attack.
So that's why I unfollowed you, Frogan. Shame on you. Hope you have to fucking think, rationalize what you said. She liked it so much she retweeted it. She doesn't care about peace. She just wants Twitter likes. Let's be real. You know what I mean? She just wants to know that the other lefties, they just fucking care so much. But they don't. Because they're not, they're doing the opposite of helping. Some of the shit I've seen, it's just fucking dark, man. And that's all I have to say about that. You know what? I don't know. She probably does care about Palestine. You know what I mean? She does. But the, but, but, um... She does. She does. Okay? But it, you, it takes more than that to, if you actually want peace. It takes more than that. You have to care about all people, all civilians, kids. You have to care about all of them. They all have a right to live. Israelis, they were born there. They don't have a fucking choice. The borders are closed on each side. They can't leave. So their, cri their only crime is being born there, right? Right? Same as the Palestinians that are born in fucking Gaza. And so their sentence is death for being born somewhere? Shut up, scumbag. That's all I have to fucking say. That's it. If you want to message me and apologize, we can talk about it. You know, I'm not, I'm not even here to say like, listen, I want, I want, I want progress too. So if you want to message me and talk about it, that's fine. You know, maybe we can work it out. Maybe we can work out the, the misunderstandings. Maybe you can apologize and tell me and maybe even tell your followers that Hamas are not revolutionary freedom fighters. They are genocidal war criminals. Monsters. I care about Palestinian kids. Do you care about Israeli kids dying? I don't know. I don't know if you do, because you said Hamas did the right thing. Do you see what I'm saying? All right. <sighs> Let's go to a break. Just go to a card or something for a few minutes. Just play like a song or something. I don't know. Fucking, I need a minute.
Myron from Fresh and Fit saying female vaginas are disgusting. Let's talk about important topics for fucking a change here in the H3 podcast. Uh, Myron, we get a, a, an interesting glimpse into his psyche. In fact, so interesting, when you, especially when you consider that this man posted the clip himself. Um, tell me what y'all think about this. Very, very, very interesting. You don't? No. I th- all men, can I just say, all men say they don't. And they actually do. What, what men really say don't. they don't? What are you talking about? What men are like, icky, gross. Blazing my woman is gross and icky. I only get blowjobs. I'm a fucking man. I, I, I don't think I've ever heard anyone in real life ever say that. You've never done it in your life? No. I, I've done it in my life. Well, di- yeah. <laughs> and he got, he got rightfully destroyed for that, too. I guess in a, yeah, maybe, maybe it does hit close to home, shit. Cappuccino! <laughs> maybe he changed his way, maybe he woke up and started eating out his wife. Hope so. I mean, the guy's got quite an appetite, so you know he'd go crazy down there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to bring out the whole ocean! That's oh, a no. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not good. That's not uh. good. Anyway, here's Myron. So yes. But the last time I did it was 2014. I remember specifically. What? Yeah, never again. Why? Do you remember? Female vaginas are disgusting. Yes. You don't. <laughs> no. I, th- I gotta men, hear this again. I say, all men never say they again. don't, and they actually do. I really don't. You've never done it in your life. No, I, I've done it in my life. So yes. But the last time I did it was 2014. I remember specifically. What? Yeah, never again. Did Why? it bite you? Why? What the Female fuck happened? Female vaginas are disgusting. Yeah. What Female happened? Never female again. vaginas. Female vaginas are disgusting. Are disgusting. Now, this is the way he worded that is interesting as well. Male vi- vaginas, male genitals are hot. Males' vaginas are hot. It says, uh, it says trans men are men. Oh. Well, female king. vaginas are disgusting. Why would he post this? Like, why would he post this? It's manly, dude. The comments are great, too. I mean, these are his fans, presumably. That's the most gay thing I've ever heard. (laughs) Real men don't do it. Keep simping, fellas. Oh, that's in support. Real men don't do it. Real men. Real men don't do it. Keep simping, fellas. What? We're supposed to believe this man is straight? I mean... Eating box is submissive as fuck. <laughs> you think Genghis Khan ate puss? Hell no. Is do you he probably know? did, bro. Yeah, do you know that? He probably did. Dude, that you guy. think Genghis Khan didn't do every sexual act you could dream of? <laughs> that guy was feral, bro. Yeah, isn't he like the most prolific, like, biggest right. artist yeah, yeah. in the world? Yeah, yeah. So that's I mean, a great he's, like re- he's like, he's like, half, like the, half the population is yeah. related to yeah, descendant yeah, from That whole Genghis region Khan. is related to Genghis Khan. I'm gay. Yeah, very good person to compare yourself to. I'm sure. Why? The, the, that's the that's the uh, example you went to. Is interesting. Genghis Khan didn't eat pussy, so why should I? Female vaginas are disgusting. <laughs> Let's see what everything Genghis Khan did. Genghis okay. Khan. Okay. It's not near. It's point five percent of the male population in the world. Roughly sixty million people are descendants of. It's only sixteen million point five. I thought it was much higher than that too, no but I guess that's. that's uh, I guess that's just an urban legend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It was National Geographic, I guess they, they did a study of How many people in the world? Like 7 billion? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That number's off. You say point, point five? Point five percent of the male population in the world. Percent. Dude, there's no way that that's that. It's way more than that. Hold on, let's see. Five percent. That, according to this, that's 350 million people. Uh, no, well, 35 this is all, million, 35 million. Yeah, and this is also from 2003, so... Uh, 35 million. Uh, I mean, 0.5. That's still a lot. Yeah. Let's be real. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot of people. That's epic. A lot of seed. That's the gayest shit I ever heard. I feel like someone hurt him bad in 2014. <laughs> I mean... Female vaginas are disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty weird thing to put out there. As him, you know what I mean? At least I've seen what a vagina looks like. <laughs> Apparently that's Cheers, my dude. that's gross now in alpha circles. I mean, have you tried being with a dick? Have you tried? I mean, 
So now that I'm up, you're down. <laughs> I just think that maybe he would, maybe he would like it. Halo. It might be worth exploring that idea. I just want him to be happy, frankly. And co and coconuts would probably be up for that as well. Although I don't know if he can theoretically consent either. So something tells me he likes <laughs> to to watch coconuts. Yeah, yeah. I just just sit there and, and watch what's going. On. Uh, speaking of coconuts, here's a weird clip from them. It's kind of fun from our boy. Original thoughts. You want to sell yourself or sell the water? Myself. Sell the water. Sell the water. Sell the water. That doesn't have as much value as me, sir. Sell the water. Okay, sir, this, this water here, um, I wouldn't sell it over me. However, since you asked me, I will. Uh, this water here is very good for you. has a lot of nutrients in it as well. However, at the same time... So, this, this, this what is, in the this fuck is am so I watching weird. right now? This is a clip from a TV show called The Dream Job. It's a reality show. One of these, like, I guess, apprentice wannabe shows. Uh, the host is looking for people to work with him and his company, and the winner of every episode will receive a contract for full-time position. This whole sell me this water thing is so dumb. Sell me this water. Are you thirsty? Water. Water is actually one of the only things you really need to stay alive. Water. Water. Reality television show in ESPN which began in 2004. Huh. The 2004, he must have been really young. I think this episode's from 2013. Oh, it ran for a long time? I don't know, it's only three seasons. I well, let's see, let's continue. Let's continue. way beyond, I don't know. This water can be, or not be, important to you. You know anything about How these? How can it not be important? You, you coconut, you're blowing it. This water is not important to you. How are you selling it, Coco? Blue. Not particularly, sir. Just bought this property in Nashville, and bees are swarming the property, creating honey. Honey's running down the post at the office. And they wrote me and said, hey, we have a serious problem with honeybees. And then they didn't tell me what the solution is. What can you do for me, man? I can do a number of things, you sir. You sound like a robot dude, when you talk to me. Can you move sales, Jared? No. You look like a good guy. But it's not going to work. Everybody in here has been a good guy so far. Yeah, it's not going to work. People I cut this morning that were probably criminals. Now might be a good time to try to save yourself. Yes, I mean, sir. a bee makes more sense. Not even close, Coconut. Okay, currently, sir, I am developing my skills in sales. However, we did a personality profile on you. Walter <laughs> needs help with problem solving. What do I do about those bees? First, we need. I don't know. <laughs> They Pretty embarrassing. So embarrassing. What the, the fuck? fuck they should have tried to have him sell a coconut water. Right? Oh. <laughs> he would have killed that. Yeah. Um, water is I'm... a little like my name, Walter. Uh, um, good for you. Um, 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 <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess I'll finish it. There's only 40 seconds. I mean, this is, this is pretty. This is good. Yeah, it's good. To research how to get rid of bees. And, sec and secondly, in he says that he exudes ego strength and self confidence. Hmm. Do you see it? How much money did you make last month? Hundred and twenty dollars. Thirty dollars a week is what you made last last month. Yes, sir. How much money do you I mean, make? If you go to McDonald's, I would, three what times, is this? Would, Why are they grilling that, that, him about how poor he is now? That, what that, happened that, to selling that, water? That, that. Now they're just bullying him. How Doing much? a ten x rule, I really would like to make a hundred thousand. Yeah. Michael, no. why a hundred thousand, no. dude? Done. You, get paid. you don't have whatever it takes. Not this team. Okay, thank you. Good luck to you, all right? Thank you. Okay. Good luck to you, man. <laughs> this is what every company in America is Good going job. To. Dude, they don't know what they just created right there. Dude, you know what? He hates that was his Joker moment. It really was, and, and you can even think about it in this way. He hates water now, which is why he doesn't go down on women. Cause it's well, that's Myron. Although I don't think he makes them wet. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't like going down because it's no, fre like sand. Fresh, fresh, fresh. He does that? He keeps it fresh. He keeps it wet. Yeah. Uh, that's just a Myron thing. Let's not lump him in there. There it is. Yeah, Myron, he just... Female <laughs> vaginas are disgusting. It's like putting sand in your mouth the way he turns women on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. New mobility scooter just dropped. This is all good time. Another one? Yeah. There's have been one beasting the lately. Let's see. Oh, man. Oh. Oh! Dude. Wait, have we seen this one? 
Oh, she's a, she's oh, a wild she's a speed one. Speed demon. Dude, she is not stopping. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! She's just charged the checkpoint, dude. She's not even moving. She's not even trying to move. What's the? <laughs> Everyone's arguing. Nobody's helping. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like everyone's yelling at each other when she's laying there. Wait, I gotta know the context. What the fuck was this? What 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 was this? <laughs> that guy totally just. Did she lose control? <laughs> that freeze frame. Wait, did she? Did she lose control or was? Bro, you threw your foot in front of that thing. Dude, he's a bread man. Didn't fall off. Bro, she took the limiter off that <laughs> shit, bro. She. She's wild then, dude. No, she did that out of spite. You think so? Oh, hey, yeah. Tab, bro. She's very <laughs> She's like, I'll show these bitches what I'm capable of. You might Are even, you kidding me? You might be able to call that an act of terror. Bro, a speed demon, bro. <laughs> she fucking hate cops. Fuck the police. A cab. Fuck yeah, baby. <laughs> she seems I'm fine, surprisingly. <laughs> Can you find out some details about this, Avi? I'm curious. She has a, a sign that says, why do adult entertainers need a child audience? Oh, so they're like anti-porn. I remember that was a thing in UK for a minute, right? They were trying to like ban porn. So she's... She's scootering for... Scootering for... for prude. Right. <laughs> Scoot not sure for prude. To... Okay, good footage, good stuff. We love that for her. Speaking of scooters, you know I had this big fantasy of, at Disneyland to, um... to us all go in Gatsby's just because it'd be so damn weird and funny. But some people have actually done this. Now, I don't know if this, this is not Disneyland, but you do have a whole scooter gang. This is so sick. It's pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Like, you're definitely crossing the street if you see... 12 Gatsby's coming at you at medium speed because you know they got juice left in them to come at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. These are my dinner dates. The dwarf posse on wheels. It's like Mario we Kart on 50cc. We are going out for dinner in honor of our fallen comrade, Trisha Mason, who we lost in February. And oh, we all yeah. miss her. Wait, why, why is she talking so, like, She's vacantly so about her dead friend? <laughs> R.I.P. Dinner in honor of our fallen comrade Trisha Mason, who we lost Died in, in a February. tragic scooter accident. We yeah. all miss her dearly. <laughs> in the midst of battle. Well, she's texting and driving. Though. She uh, tried to um, run a police barricade in her uh, <laughs> scooter and was unfortunately died in the conflict. <laughs> And, uh, all right, I, apparently I'm supposed to be crossing, I'm videotaping. Oh shit, he's having fun. That's so me and, on a scooter, look at him. All right, I, apparently I'm supposed to be crossing, I'm videotaping. Oh my god! Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't even know that wait, part happened. what is happened. happening? They're gonna have another, another dinner for <laughs> their new fall from come They don't know how to drive the scooters. And, uh, all right, I, apparently I'm supposed to be crossing. I'm videotaping. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> they go, oh my god, no! <laughs> Freewheeling Bob Dylan right there. Wow. Wow. We love our scooter folks. They really are uh, tremendous. I'm still upset we never could get Mary's... Um... Uh, mobility scooter. Yeah, God, that would have. We been. were so close. We we're off by like a week. That truly would have been one of the great achievements of of our lifetime. Absolutely. Yeah. So fucking close, man. Yeah. Can I just uh, defend my boy Zach real quick? He was using the Mario sound bites because Ethan said Mario Kart, and not for any other reason. Are people getting pissed? What what, what? what do people think it was for? What? Well, when Mario. What would be an ungenerous interpretation of that? Well, when Mario makes that sound, usually he's he's powering up. You know, when he's... You, you're, oh, it's just an improper use of the sound effect. Is that what you're saying? Or like, what? Well, what's, I don't want people to think what, what he was talking... Because they're, you know... Because like, he was going to run him over something? No, because their stature. 
in like you know Mario. Oh. A B, are you defending Zach or are you digging a uh, grave? I think he's yourself? throwing me under the bus here. I think he's, uh, he's throwing himself under the bus. I, throwing himself under I the appreciate it, but shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> are you saying that okay. they haven't powered you're try, up? You're trying to stand up for Zach, but I think I think you're in more trouble than Zach ever was. Thank God. Someone someone understands me. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you, Cameron. Dude, you? Cameron, explain. This is pre power up. I typed it in chat, but I said he played the Mario sound that makes Mario bigger. <laughs> the Mario sound. The mushroom but sound. But I didn't even associate two and two and Oh, until. play the... Oh, see, that's fucked up. I play the mushroom sound. Do you you add said Mario Kart, dude. Which is what I was clarifying. Now go fuck yourself. Oh, because I didn't, I didn't read <laughs> what <laughs> Cam said. <laughs> well, apologies. No, you ha no, there, no, there's no... No apologies. <laughs> We're all just people having fun here. They, they, I said a Mario Kart. They look like they're on 50cc. That's crazy, dude. I don't believe that. I understand what you're saying too, Ed B. You're, you're, Thank you for for uh, yeah. for trying to uh, uh, ran up for him. Yeah, mm -hmm. appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm, I'll be honest. I don't understand what you're saying. You're saying what about their stature? <laughs> like I just, I sorry, I just didn't understand. Okay, I think I I, I think I understand. Because in Mario, you start out as little Mario, and then you eat a mushroom, and it makes that sound, and you get big. In Mario Kart? No, not in Mario I'm Kart, but he's making the Mario connection here. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to... Cause AB's I'm... always thinking, like, four layers deeper than, than anybody else, so okay. I'm, I'm trying to go deep on this. Am I right? Is that, that a compliment. Was that yeah, the interpretation? Yeah, because yeah, I, was, I was reading chat, because at first, I didn't know why Zach was making that, and then someone said, guys, he's doing that because of Mario Kart. And right. Like, oh, okay, that's why he's doing it, and then yeah, I yeah, wanted okay. to say it as well. I yeah. see. But you know what? Fuck Zach. He was. I don't know. I don't. I don't trust him. <laughs> there it is. No little people slander on this show. Right. Okay. We are uh, not Jimmy Lee here. Absolutely not. And thank you both for clarifying that. Love you, AB. Love you too. <laughs> Sorry, I told you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Only the world could be like us. Uh, here's the worst pickup line. <laughs> Every time AB says something funny, I swear I don't hear it. It's not. It's not your. It's not your. I change microphones. It's a little louder. It's. It's a chain reaction. Okay, because I. I. Like you. You need the visual cue when Ian switches to me sometimes to see it. Yeah. To and see I. Your mouth and I'm. Move. Yeah. I know. And I'm. I kind of mumble sometimes, so Ian misses it, and then you miss it. Miss it. So. Would you say it again? <laughs> say what? Oh, the joke. Yeah. I said if the whole world could be like us, because. Yeah, Arabs and because oh, like he's me. Jewish. It doesn't yeah. matter if you're Arab, anyways. Yeah. I guess I, I guess I had to be there. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. You just had to be Maybe there. you just don't hear his specific uh, register of his voice. Maybe we can like EQ AB to uh, be more shrill, hmm. so it gets into your ears. I think he has a beautiful voice. It's just I don't know what it is. Um, but thank you, thank you. No, I agree. Uh, peace. Selective hearing. No, <laughs> I can't hear AB. It's selective. I love AB. I love what he says. He Thank says you. great things. Funny things. <laughs> He's saying great things. things. Unbelievable things. All right. Uh, dude, somebody's got to stop these alpha males. This is dating advice from a pickup artist. Somebody, please, 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 please do something. I'd say, have we fucked before? I'm just kidding. Oh. Hi, nice to meet you. And that emotion arises inside of them, like, who the fuck is this guy? And then immediately, because you're like, I'm just kidding. Hi, how are you? And you laugh and you smile. Now you open the door, and now they feel a really positive emotion at a super high intensity. And you might say it doesn't work, but it always works because of how ridiculously shocking it is. I got her attention. Most people are like, I think you're really pretty. What's your number? You know? So yeah, similar to my technique of just pulling a gun on them, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Give me all your money. <laughs> JK. Psych. Psych. No, I'm not gonna do that. That. Actually, no, I just thought you were really cute and I wanted to come <laughs> say hi. Vaginas are disgusting. Of course he's sitting next to this Gurkha guy who's like... Wait, but I thought the narrative was the vaginas are gross. Isn't that the alpha narrative? I feel like that's just Myron. Just for mouths. Yeah. Just for mouths. Right. Yeah, just for mouths. Right. Gross for mouths. Vaginas are disgusting. <laughs> nope. For Female vi vaginas, specifically. Female vaginas are oh, I'd walk up to a girl and I'd say, have we fucked before? I'm just kidding. Hi, nice to meet you. And that emotion- I, I, I feel like he's never done this. I feel like he's probably- this has never worked for him. <laughs> An insane opener. It's scary. Yeah, it's like, why wouldn't you remember? <laughs> like rapey. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> like someone, what the? Why yeah. am I so unmemorable to you that right. you have to ask? <laughs> like that sucks. Remember my name, maybe next time. So we got to stop them. Um, the comments were pretty good on that. Someone said, "I try this now. I'm in jail." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, influencer. Oh God, bro. This this one, I. I'm gonna just give a little bit of a trigger warning because it's really a weird take, man. I don't think it's necessarily not safe for work or life or anything. It's just he he's essentially saying that he doesn't understand why adults can't marry nine year olds. And he has some really sound logic to it. Who is this guy, by the way? Is he just another alpha male? Uh, mm -hmm. Let me check the registry. I'll look it up. <laughs> let me check the registry. Yeah. I looked into it a little bit. He's he's like uh, one of those business guys on Instagram. How to just giving advice, like pretty cliche, non helpful advice. Is he a, into crypto by any chance? Uh, he has a book out. Is he, into, <laughs> is he is he into scaring women into sleeping with him? Mm, possibly. So hey, anyway, here's his logic. Take a listen. What year old guy sleeps with a 15 year old girl? Terrible. Already off to a great right? start. We went to terrible, a right? Try Hold it. on. But hold on. But <laughs> I want to sit before you with my face fully visible to the world. Hundred years. Forty-year-old guy sleeps with a fifteen-year-old girl. One hundred percent normal, right? So if it's true, I I don't know if it's one hundred percent normal even then. I think it was weird even then. It wasn't like. I think it depends who was doing it too. You know, was it like a Byron? Or was it the creepy fucking, you know, villager? Anyway. Traumatic in one instance and not traumatic in another. Then it means that we can basically change the cultural narrative yes. that we're ascribing to Somebody's our context. It. Yeah, it, it, probably it, it probably wasn't traumatic at all when a arranged marriage of like a 13 year old girl and a like disgusting fucking lord or baron or whatever, pedophile, uh, Got to take her virginity. Dude, I'm the, sure that wasn't traumatic at all. That was the, totally normal. Back then, literally, we're fine. Yeah. Yeah. No, trauma is actually a new concept invented in the 20th century. It's such a fucking awesome thing. <laughs> fucking man. insane, dude. Which means it didn't matter. I'm really, Inspire Your Mind is the name of this account. I'm really curious what the response to this was from the other dude. Which means the only thing that matters is that you chose to make it meaningful. What? His fucking eyes are so scary. <laughs> what a creep, dude. What the fuck? Pretty old guy sleeps with a 15-year-old girl. Terrible. So what I'm right? hearing is you want to have sex with a 15-year-old girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're hearing. In a very complicated way, you're trying to justify that. He's also saying, listen, 200 years ago, you know, it was all good, baby. Like <laughs> slavery, you know... Owning yeah. people. Yeah, you you, owning, you you enslave a black person. Terrible, slaves. right? But two hundred years ago, it was that was totally normal. Was totally, that wasn't it wasn't traumatic at all. Literally. Owning slaves was probably more normal. Yeah, than it was probably like, traumatic not to be owned. Yeah, I would feel I would feel <laughs> left out. <laughs> <laughs> so in a sense, you know, back in two hundred years ago, um, kind of a dope vibe. If you go back even further, there was points when dudes were just fucking. I wonder what his thoughts are on that. <laughs> used to not be weird. Used to be very cool and normal. Still is, but not in his opinion. Dudes fucking dudes. I mean, that's really what... That's really what it all comes down to. <laughs> Rewind 200 years. 40-year-old guy. It's incredible he thought he was doing something. What this tells me is that he's like has a group of pedophile friends that like talk about this. Because there's no way he's ever verbalized this with somebody that wasn't like, stop. Don't say that anymore. 16 is the age of consent. Let me see what his book's about. It's so bizarre. The, the podcast he's on, Graham Stephan. His, he, I used to watch all his podcasts, all only finance people. But lately, he's have having on these all these alpha dudes, Ben Shapiro. You know why? The views probably gets the right? views. <laughs> but it's so ben shameless. Shapiro. I feel like just to it turn to that shit for money, it's fucking bullshit. I used to respect him and watch every single podcast, but I, it's just unbearable. It's just platforming man. people who are advocating for pedophilia, my dude. Exactly. Dude, I'm crazy. dying to know what his response was. If it was just like that is interesting, huh? We're going, on, we're going after Graham Stephan today, too. 
Y'all are gonna have to start hanging out with me more if we're gonna burn every bridge that I know. Every <laughs> like, person you know I know. Him? We're gonna start hang- Yeah, yeah. He was in the crater oh. clash with me, the first one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and he was at the second one too. I know I know one of his editors too on, on that podcast who got fired recently. You know, yeah, here, he's a nice guy. Listen, here's your problem, maybe. You're trying to make too many friends. Yeah. You gotta be like me. Take a tip yeah. from Ethan. You gotta, you gotta stick to <laughs> You're completely your, friendless. yourself there, brother. I'm seeing mm-hmm. the last guest on his podcast was Ty Lopez, yeah, too. See? So. Ty. Let's go! I, mean, Ty is I mean, we can't judge that. I mean... We'd have Ty on. <laughs> it's knowledge. Just, the, Listen, they are not doing probably it a different context. in a funny way. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, yeah. look at this garage. absolute legend. Is there any other... Can you give me a list of your friends, A.B.? I'll make sure. <laughs> uh... That we no. talked about in this episode, or you just name them off. Just name them off. Yeah. Uh, do you want artists that I like too? <laughs> That'd be good. That'd be helpful. Uh, we already know one. I, I like Drake. <laughs> I can't. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Drake. Drake. No, I'm kidding. I'll put together a list. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um. Da 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 da. But thou. You're not there. You're not, you're not there. there. I can't breathe when you're not there. Okay, so here, let's do this. I can't breathe when you're not there. I can't sleep. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. <coughs> a nightmare. Let's read this. Let's see, she says, Frogan says, I did not say murdering children and burning families alive is a revolution. Well, you did say that. I mean, what, what just fucking, just stand behind what you're saying. Leftists preach and foam at the mouth at the thought of a revolution happening in America. But as soon as it happens in the Middle East, all of a sudden what they're doing is wrong. I mean, you're saying that it's right. But okay, let me read her whole thing. Um, of course, you didn't you didn't say that explicitly, but like, let's be real. Is a tactic Israel specialized in for seven years. So here comes the thing about like I refuse to acknowledge Israelis' suffering because um, I could I my I can only see past. Uh, I only care about people. Only care about Palestinians' suffering. I don't care about anything that has to do with Israel. And once again, the, the path to peace is paved here by the enlightened Frogan. But I haven't seen your post about their murders. Ah, again, it's like, how much more can I say it? You lit, you, you went on your fucking. So now, now I don't care about Palestinians, even though I was just your favorite creator. Ethan was probably like, damn, Arabs support Hamas. Oh, fuck that, dude. How dare you talk about me like this? You're mad I unfollowed you because I'm one of your favorite? You says, Ethan, I'll support you if you follow the IDF. Y'all really... <clears throat> okay, so she says, I haven't, I haven't seen you talking about uh, Palestinian murders. Well, I guess you haven't seen it, but you haven't looked real fucking hard then. Or you haven't even tried because I have been saying it. For a long ass time, and A.B., if you can do me a favor and link the statement I put out about when, um, uh, the last time there was a huge confrontation when the IDF blew up a, like, residential building and killed a bunch of journalists and people, uh, what I said about that, and I'll read it again for you, Frogan, because, again, you haven't seen me talking about it, doesn't mean that I haven't, actually, but what I am interpreting is that you don't care about Israeli suffering. You just want to talk about Palestinian suffering. Your first post here in the past week is to call... call, call what? Your first post here in the past week is to call me out for f- supporting Palestinians fighting back. Again, she's supporting Hamas. Hamas murdered... She's, ac- she's actually proving my point even more explicitly. That's crazy. Palestinians fighting back? First of all... What a disservice you're doing to Palestinians. Palestinians are not fucking Hamas. I would venture to guess the vast majority of them are peace-loving people that just want to live in safety and don't want to live in fear. But no, you're saying Palestinians are fighting back Hamas. Militant, 
extremist terrorist organizations on the part of ISIS is just Palestinians fighting back. Okay. What is revolution to if not overthrowing the prison guards that keep two million people from leaving? What prison guards were killed? The fucking... The families? Were the kids that were killed prison guards? Are you sure about this statement, Frogan? Which prison guards were, did they murder? The kids? The elderly? The family that was burned alive? The women that were raped? The murdered that were shot point blank with the AK-47? Are those the prison guards that you're talking about? That's the revolution. Okay, well, let me know, you know, let me know what you're planning for the revolution here, because I do not want to fucking... I want to make sure that I'm standing against that. Because if, if that's what, you know, if that's what overthrowing the prison guards looks like to you, then I'd really hate to think what you're going to do to the capitalist fucking pigs in America when it's time to reclaim what's yours. She goes, that keeps two million people from leaving, shelling their homes, wanton, only killing civilians, mostly children, for the past 70 years to the approval of the international community. The American Revolution was fought over, over for less than the unrelenting massacre of their people. So again, she has not a single fucking atom of empathy, not a single shred for the mass murder of children. She doesn't even want to hear it. In fact, her selective outrage is, stu is stunning. She says, I've only ever heard you talk about me supporting Palestine. Are you fucking dumb? Like, how dare you even say that, you scumbag? Did you think about this before you wrote it? Shame on you. How dare you defend what you said? And to even come for me as if I don't support Palestinians. Sorry. This statement just proved my point. This is the last time I ever spoke on Israel. I posted on Twitter. I posted on Instagram. I read it on the show. The Israel government is making me sick. Even if Hamas is operating out of civilian buildings, it doesn't justify the total destruction of that building. It's inhumane. Netanyahu is a piece of shit warmonger and needs to go. As a dual citizen, I love Israel and the Israeli people. They deserve a government that actually believes in peace and not force and violence. The ultra-right Jewish settlers are among the greatest provocateurs in the world. They're shameless, hateful, fueled by religious zeal, and enabled by the Israeli government. I wish the settling and repossession of Palestinian land would stop. I wish the bombing in Gaza would stop. Gazans deserve to live in a life of free of fear. And for all the crimes Hamas has committed, we have always... And for all the crimes Hamas has committed, we must always remember that they are not Palestine, which somehow you don't seem to understand either. The Israeli government holds all of the power and it's on them to stop the violence and show a true willingness to peace. That's the last time I talked about fucking Israel. So, do you want to keep say, uh, saying this shit about me? Or do you want to apologize? Because it sounds to me like you want to double down. Actually, you definitely did double down. You said, you said Hamas was murdering their prison guards. Fucking kids, you fucking psycho. They're murdering children with a fucking machine gun, dude. That's the prison guard you're talking about? But, and then you, you can't possibly understand why Israelis, why Israelis who are dead wrong are being like, oh, we need to retaliate. They're dead wrong. But you don't understand why they would think that. Again, because I have to emphasize, because people don't fucking listen to what I say. I mean, I said it so many times, and yet she still acts like I haven't said it. It's astonishing, frankly. It's astonishing. This is actually, this actually statement has made her original one even worse. She's basically just coming out and saying it. Yeah, Hamas are freedom fighters, taking out their prison guards. Oh, yeah, and by the way, Palestinians. She's calling Hamas just Palestinians. How's that help them? Really? That's even more psychotic than uh, your first take. The American Revolution was fought over for less than the unrelenting massacre of their people. Okay. And so, what, what, uh, 
I don't recall a time when in the American Revolution where they were like just killing babies, wanton mass murder. But if there was, guess what? I wouldn't, I don't support that either, actually. Do you live in America, Frogan? Because I hate to say it, but if the citizens are of a country are guilty for the crimes of their government, which you seem to think that all Israelis are, people that were born in Israel, did not choose to be in Israel, they don't choose to join the IDF. It's mandatory conscription, okay? So if you think that every Israeli man, woman, and child, and baby, is fair game to be murdered, by Palestinians, you mean Hamas, because that's a fucking psychotic way to to um, frame Palestinians. That seems more, that seems kind of fucked up, like, I would never say anything, that, that, that's crazy. I would never say that, that Hamas and Palestinians is like, it's just interchangeable. So that's how you're using it here. I think it's very important to make that distinction. I mean, the Palestinians, they are just people that want to live in peace. Okay? But you actually can't make that distinction, which I find very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not pro-massacring families and all that either, actually. And the American Civil War, or any Civil War, actually, or, or a, a revolution, I mean. But yeah, do you, do, does she live in America? She does, right? Yeah, yeah she's so, from our hometown. <laughs> so since you live in America, Frogan, by your own logic, you would for sure be uh, accountable for your government's crimes. Right? Because that's how, what you're holding all Israelis to. And so by that logic, you have a lot to answer for. And I use this analogy, and I think it's a good analogy. If Iraq, who America just fucking murdered like a million Iraqis, just horrific war crimes, disgusting, fucking nasty, unforgivable war crimes that America did in Iraq. Well, since you were born here, Frogan, if an Iraqi terrorist cell comes to a exact revenge for what our government did in Iraq then I hope you don't complain when they come to kill your family. Because it's the same logic that you're using to justify Hamas killing Israeli civilians. But you wouldn't do that because you understand that it's not that fucking simple. No matter how reductive you want to be. <laughs> how are you even a serious person? Holy fuck. Dude, f caught in 4K. What is a revolution to you if not overthrowing the prison guards that keep 2 million people from living? Yo! Again, she goes, mostly children. So I understand you care about Palestinian children, but you don't care about Israeli children that are murdered. And that's why there will never, ever be peace, Frogan. Because you don't give a fuck about Israeli kids being murdered. I did not say murdering children, burning families alive is a revolution. All I said is revolution is uh, when you do that to the people keeping you. Uh, uh, what? You just said it. There's a part two to her tweet. Okay, there's a part two. Let's read it. Couldn't make this much worse. Is it under or? Refresh. She posted her a bit later. <clears throat> Dude, I didn't say that. It's okay to kill families and children. I'm just saying this is a revolution and Hamas are our freedom fighters. What do you expect them to do? Not kill kids and rape women and burn families alive? That's just how we do it. She goes, she continues, it goes without saying murder and civilians is horrible. It doesn't go without saying, actually. It doesn't. It's at the heart of my criticism against Israel. Yeah, I understand that. It's at the heart of my criticism against Israel, too. It's disingenuous to assume it wouldn't apply to the murder of Israeli citizens, too. It's not doesn't go without being said, actually. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, you, you basically just walked up to justifying it here. How are you real? Like... Here's why peace will never happen. 
because Frogan does not fucking care about when Israeli kids die. Only when Palestinian kids die. She doesn't have ima enough imagination to imagine both sides having grievances and feeling pain and loss and fear and existential threat. She, you know what I mean? The fuck? Give me a break. Ethan has never got this heated about genocide in Palestine. Their children have been murdered for decades and made Twitter and made one Twitter post in 2020. What the fuck have you done for it? You, mo you pathetic house dwelling signal virtue signaling. Nobody. What are you doing about it? Except bitching on Twitter and downplaying wanton violence. What do you need me to do? What would become acceptable for you? What I'm seeing is my, quote, political allies on the left excusing and cheering on Hamas. Sorry for thinking that's fucked up. Especially, I hate to break it to you, as a Jew who's a dual citizen of Israel and my wife is Israeli. Sorry to fucking surprise you with that fact. That I don't want everybody in Israel to die, which is Hamas's explicit goal. Freedom fighters? Execution squad? How much more do you need me to talk about how fucked up Israel is for you to get it out of your thick, fucking, dumb, moronic, Virtue signaling plebeian skull. Shame on you, you dumb, monstrous, blood hungry. Shame on you. That's all I can say. It's absolutely fucking pathetic. Her response made it even worse, man. It's crazy that she wrote that. I mean, she really just, uh... Why is Ethan so angry? Shut the fuck... Dude, if you, if you even have to ask that, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I don't. You know, I don't know how much more I can tell you how much I fucking despise the genocidal warmongering war criminals in the Israeli government. I don't know how much more do I can explain that to you. But guess what? I also can believe that Hamas are fucking monsters. The problem is you can't. You can't do that. Hamas are freedom fighters to you. They are part of the revolution. And so that's your fucking problem. That you don't have that imagination. So, fuck you, Frogan. How about that? My door's still open if you want to talk. Because I actually want... Because again, I'm not here to fucking call... You know, I'm just calling it out. You want to talk to me? Apparently you don't. You just want to message me more about how prison guards are being murdered, a.k.a. kids. Dude, you can never take that back. That's on the internet forever. I hope you know that. You literally just called murdered children prison guards. Okay. Got you. I don't mince words when it comes to Israeli government. I got no fucking problem talking about their war crimes. I got no problem. But somehow for you, it's just, oh, oh, Hamas is fucking, no, no, no. Hamas, they're, they're fucking murderous, terrorists, ISIS, free, no, they're free. You can't say it. Why is that? That's my problem. Why can't you say Hamas is terrorist, rapist, child murdering animals? Why can't you say it? That's your problem. Not my fucking problem. Nice response, dipshit. All right, where were we? <clears throat> We were talking about, uh, we were talking about, 
I guess maybe we'll do a guess the crew member. Let's do it. Or maybe Big Nick, MAGA, We Are the World, palate cleanser. We are the world. Do I need to get free Palestine tattooed on my forehead? Like, what do you want me to do so that you so that you'll listen to what I'm saying? Come on, man. When have you ever heard me defend Israel? I got no problem. I don't mince words when it comes to the Israeli government. Why is it that you can't get you do mince words when it comes to Hamas? Well, you clearly stated that they are the freedom fighters of this revolution. Well said, Frogan. Let's kill the prison guards. Children. Let's kill them. Reminder, the people that died were not even settlers. They're living in fucking kibbutz, which is like peaceful communes, like communists, literally. Not the prison guards. But hey, that's just my opinion. What the fuck do I know? Uh... All right, let's talk about Big Nick. I got to respond because if I don't do it now, people are going to run with it. They're going to say what they're going to put words in my mouth. You know, if she got something to say, go ahead and say it and I'll say what I have to say. There it is. Big Nick uh, is part of a MAGA. We are the world. And I love following Big Nick. He's uh, gone on quite the journey from blog squad Blog squad whistleblower mm-hmm. to I didn't even know how to describe it. He's like a Jesus conspiracy theorist, uh, reborn MAGA lunatic. <laughs> yeah. Like he he he's as crazy as they come. Oh no, it was claimed. Yeah, it was the revenue sharing kind of claim. Like not the like full demonetization, oh, no. but like one of those. And it didn't get claimed immediately. It happened later. Well, maybe I'll just... Oh, God, I want to hear it so bad. Um, uh, it was the full re-upload. I mean, it's a song, so... Um, maybe just Big Nick's just part. Play, but all, just, just his part. So it's called... So much of it is so funny, though. Yeah. Damn, they only got 90,000 views? Come on, guys. Where's the clout? Yeah, they were, like, bragging about how it was, like, charting. And then I saw this. I'm like, that's not... You know fucking, what? You know, I want to watch views. it so bad. I'm just gonna dis- I'm just gonna dispute, we'll dispute it. it. All right. I'll dispute it. We'll go the we'll go the fair use route. I mean, it <laughs> is fair use. There's no question about it. Sure. This yeah. is such a funny. I just I don't want to miss it. I don't yeah, want to miss it. It's I that agree. good. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Amidst a firmament consumed by the oppressive grip of government overreach and tyrannical control, a man by the name of Jimmy Levy emerged. Poised to make a difference. Fueled by the Holy Spirit, he set out to bring together a group of gifted individuals united by a common thread. They poured their souls into recording the timeless and evocative hymn of freedom. Who is he right? He's writing about himself like he's some kind of like a prophet. This man wrote this about himself. He's making right. More. I guess when you frame it that way, it's <laughs> even crazier. Isn't it's it? crazy. He said of himself, "A man by the name of Jimmy Levy, me who wrote this, emerged poised to make a difference." Wow, this is gonna be good. I'm excited. Is there anyone like real famous in this? Or are they all just kind of weirdo fringe? Uh, they're famous to me. <laughs> famous Some of my to favorite me. people are in here. You can take all our money. <laughs> Minecraft beard man, dude. That I boy, that boy Wait, has got on. quite a beard. That voice you can on that boy, yeah. beautiful. On that man, yeah. honestly, Let's stunning, listen. stunning. Come on, stunning. Yeah, there's a lot of classics in this video. It's yeah, like the, it's like I a, see that. I gotta, I gotta watch it. It's like the Avengers of <laughs> MAGA rappers. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, one other annotation. I see a bunch of conservative grifters now being like, see, Ethan, these are the people that you're allied with. It's like, no, it's not. There's a group of extreme fucking leftists, okay, who are like pro-Hamas, 
And then there's a ton of other people that I politically identify with, not your dumb, trans, gay-hating, pathetic loser ass. Nice try to spin it. You all, you fucking suck just as bad. Well, yeah, you suck just as bad. So, fuck you, too. You're wrong, bitch. Anyway, back to this voice of a god. God, he sounds good. Let me turn on subtitles. He's lined the fuck up, dude. Look at that. Always. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Clean, dude. Fuck yeah. That was, Jimmy's guy must have done that kind of work. You can Clean take line. All our money, but you can have our soul. Mm -hmm. You can burn down our buildings, <laughs> and we'll still find a home. We will all stick together. Is that happening? Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> are you are, burn down your really, buildings? They they think they're being persecuted. They go, you can steal my money, you can burn down my home. It's like Oh, is this like wait a minute, are we like talking like twenty twenty BLM riots? Like are we uh, but, like is but, that I mean, even that is pretty I mean that's a big stretch anyways, and Bro also kinda like you got to get with the times, man. We've all, yeah. you know, there's there's new things they're all upset about. Like, mm -hmm. that's not going to hit the same way. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We've got to get that voice on a politically neutral song. Yeah, you got to, you need to be talking yeah. about CVS's getting, uh, and Nordstrom's getting yeah. uh, robbed. True. Or just like, your girl broke your heart. You're, fe you're feeling a little sad he tried tonight. That. He Have tried you that. ever seen flash mobs? <laughs> Grab a bunch of makeup from CVS. Doesn't sound the same. <laughs> he yeah, to, it just doesn't hit the same He way. needs to try this in a small town. That's what he yeah. needs to do. Right. Try it in a small town. Yeah. Right. Yeah. By the way, this is Take Jimmy Levy. This is the this is the guy who wrote the prophetic stuff about himself. Oh, this is him. That's him. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy yeah. Levy. Yeah, yeah. He's he's this is his project. He's living up to the the hype. I love that he's so oppressed. He's sitting there in like a beautiful soundstage, with the freshest cut ever. <laughs> like you're doing great, bro. Together, and we'll never sue we won't <laughs> give up our freedom. There were bright lights before it all went. No, bring him back. Bring back the other guy. Wait, I was just saying, like, damn, it is a travesty that such a beautiful voice went to the right. Yeah. It's the only one they have. I know. Apparently, he was on Idol. Oh, there's America some... got Idol. He was on Idol? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we talked about this um, guy uh, a while ago with the. Yeah, it was the Target uh, video. Oh, um, shit. How Here... Target is woke and, and gay. Here he is and on Idol. It. Yeah. It's in his yeah. hand. There he is. It's just on his shirt. His uh, <laughs> like sticker for his so, audition is on his yeah. shirt. He goes, Simon Cowell, <laughs> I fucking hate liberals. I hate fucking Nancy Pelosi. I'm glad her husband caught a hammer. <laughs> like, whoa, dude. Whoa. Damn it. Jimmy. I thought you were going to do a song about love or something. And freedom. The song's about freedom. It's about freedom. Yeah. Oh, it's about driving. It's you about can power. burn down our buildings and we'll still find a home. Damn. We will all stick together and we'll never surrender. We won't give up our freedom. There were bright lights. Before it all went to dark, he does the, not I, even yeah. hold a candle to his mm. friend. And that, 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 the, the, you can feel the auto tune is just yeah. the auto, the, the auto tune machine is smoking and humming. Also, you can see like the despair in his eyes. He's like, I'm not even close. Yeah, I don't think Homie was auto tuned at all. The, the yeah, no. And oh. they should have given the second verse, quite frankly. Nothing like a one four five chord progression and a MAGA hat, baby. Yeah, baby. Call him out, Zach. <laughs> and their white lies, oh. they divided our hearts. There's a Pakasha Joe up. behind him. You spot Yo. him? All right, spot let's see what you Pekasha got. Pakasha Joe? They divided our hearts. My boy. Oh, shit, that's our oh, boy. Yeah. That's Pakasha Joe. Pakasha okay. bread. Oh, right. It was the Pakasha Joe uh, song was the one that uh, the Minecraft beer guy was on. The uh, the target is uh, gay and woke. I song. remember. Yeah. So wait, these are famous people to us. How come it only got 90,000 views? He brought the whole Avengers together. I, you know. I wonder if this is a re-upload, because it only it has, has to be eight subscribers. Well, that's probably too. just oh. one of those clay. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy left Vivo. Bro, what? What <laughs> is Vivo. this from? Yeah, this is, I, bro, bro literally thinks he's Jesus. Wait, what is this he from? Is. It's one of yeah, his right. music videos. 
Dude, I, how like how about not denied? sacrilegious? That's oh, that this is, the is the funniest sacrilegious. Thing I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, you are not Excuse me. Idol. You do not walk on water. You are not the son of God. He clearly is there. It's not photoshopped. We need to get <laughs> oh, you think Ethan it's real? in well, his shorts totally in his then. slides standing like that real, on right. the ocean. What, what is this from? It's his music video called Take the Lead. And he also walk, bears a cross. He sp spreads the water. I like. He oh. just is being... Wait, yeah. he spreads the water. So he's Jesus and Moses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he, he, sick. Jesus is not going to like that, bro. That's Too sick. He's he's the fusion dude. dance. Too much wine. Bro sorry. thinks he's Jesus. <laughs> Wait, so where's the original then? Is it gone? I think this is one is it of on those Rumble? claim uploads, you know, that they just use to claim shit. But where's their video? Oh. You know what I mean? I want to know the original is that. In the blink of the night, we were all left with scars. Listen to me. I actually, I don't know what this song is about. Yeah, it's uh, a little it's unfocused. called Freedom, and I, I literally have no idea what they're singing right. about. <laughs> you can take Go. Money, also, just a little bit of advice. Like, we are the world, right? You mm -hmm. know, big collaborative effort, all of these musicians to uh, to raise money and awareness or whatever. Very memorable and repeatable hook. Mm -hmm. The chorus. Also, I know what they're mm -hmm. singing about. Right, we the exactly. <laughs> we're a minute into this. We've had, <laughs> we're on verse three. We're still totally unclear on what the cause is here. And there's nothing, like, I'm not remembering anything that they're singing. Like, where's the catchy hook? The What's happening? is left Who open for Who are we? interpretation. Maybe they're big Braveheart fans. Does this big man have these, fans. is this natural blue, blues? Or is I he in contacts? Uh, the picture that you pulled up of him on American Idol, uh, he looked like he had blue eyes, so. Dude, he, God, yo, he is a he, prophet. He's like, blessed. Well, I mean, in the same way that, um. Those are Jesus eyes. In the same way that Shetty is a prophet, it's like, if God mm -hmm. gave you those beautiful eyes. Maybe you know. more like David Koresh, but, you know. <laughs> I don't know who that is. He was a rock David. star, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. God kissed his voice box before sending him down. Wait, this is a, who is this? Uh. The leader of the branch the video. Yeah, that's oh, okay. I was like, I know this guy. He's not a he's a fucking psycho. <laughs> he fucking shredded too. He's a rock yeah, star. Yeah. He had some tunes, man. Yeah. Huh. It's from, he, so what you're saying is Jimmy Levy's part of a long American tradition of psychotic cult leaders that sing. Yep. Jim Jones was a singer too. <laughs> hey! Yeah, oh, uh, uh Manson. Manson. Yeah, Manson, Manson that's so true. true. It's also, his music wasn't Damn. I wanna we bad. are the world I of mean, all them. It yeah, is no, horrible. Manson, no one listened Manson now, was, but like he was in with the whole like uh, LA music scene. I wonder yeah. if it's just like cause they're so megalomaniac narcissist that the the act of singing is like one of the best ways that they can just draw all attention to themselves. Or I don't know how you sure. get You just like you go out and you that. sing and it's mm -hmm. like I'm the center of attention and I you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying all singers are crazy, just saying they are. No, just failed ones. Yeah, just failed ones. Um, that's you know, it's kind of a thing that we've identified that like all of these uh right wing um like pundits and talking heads are either failed comedians or screenwriters, right? Yeah. So maybe like this is a similar pattern. Like when you're when you can't make it in Hollywood. You become like a right-wing grifter. When you can't make it in the music industry, you start a cult and kill a bunch of people. Right. That's it. Well, yeah, that's Manson was a failed songwriter. That's yeah, what we said. That's yeah. what we said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also heard that... Um, that... Um, I don't know. I was trying to think of a singer that had a short career and then say he's a mass murderer or something. But mm -hmm. Hamas used to be a band. Yeah, Hamas was there exactly. They shred, dude. They fucking shred. Hamas actually shred. <laughs> well, the, it's the, you know, there's there's different arms. There's like there's the militant arm, and then there's the traveling the band arm of Hamas. Yeah, Hamas. Yeah, the Hamas. Play that again. Hamas terrorist invasion. And you know, I love Hamas. Uh, how dare they? The Hamas. How dare they? Uh, put those in the same. <laughs> Same syllables. All right, we haven't even gotten to the good part well, of this, this video. This is all good. I'm so glad. I know, but you like <laughs> it gets way better in a minute. All right, all right. Oh, you could burn down our building. Nobody's doing that. And we'll still find a home. Okay, maybe this is the hook. Okay. It's you just not a very down. like catchy hook. <laughs> you can burn Maybe. down our buildings. We'll and we'll still, still find, find a home. home. Love that. 
I'm not sure I'm where that it. happened or when. I'm not going to be specific. <laughs> Okay. We won't give up Get it. our freedom. That's right. From Nothing. the shores of no. no. Oh. Vokasha Joe coming in. Pubs, let's fucking Here go. Oh, shit. He's about to drop it. He's about to be so good. Oh, oh, I can hear it. All right, here we go. I can't wait. Our freedom. From the shores of California. What? Yes, that's us. All the way down the more angular the, the facial hair. Only he will bring Oh, my. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? No wow. God way. damn way. That Michael Jump Flynn, scare. What the, the disgraced fuck general, QAnon <laughs> psycho, is sitting here uh, auto tuned to hell. Like, this is the nuts. most intense auto tune I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. Like, way beyond anything. Wait, yeah. they all fuck with Flynn? He's like, yeah, these are all, all these guys are like QAnon. They, he is like the deepest hole of conspiracy psychopathy. <laughs> yeah. That all, is all. All jokes aside, this whole fucking song is terrible. Focaccia Bread has the best voice out of all these people. <laughs> Focaccia Bread, he did sound there. good. He did yeah. sound good. Name. He didn't even say anything wrong. He just said, "Listen, from California to the Keys, I'm with that." Yeah, mm-hmm. that's all he had to really contribute. It's interesting. And a beautiful growl. Kokomo. Dude. I want to hear it again, actually, because. Shout out, shout out to Auto Trader Magazine, by the way. Wait, did I pass it already? No. Now here it is, here it is. Focaccia bread. From the shores of California. Cal- he hit that good. California. He's got, he's got that, good, that good smoker's rasp. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Voice. The shores of California. <laughs> nightmare. 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 Yo, what if it cuts to dream? Yo, that'd be crazy. He goes, nightmare. He's just there with his mask on. <laughs> All the way down to the keys. Only he will bring up. <laughs> oh, bro, I, I, not, I can't do this. <laughs> I got, hold on. Uh, we can't laugh. I genuinely need to hear this. Whose homeroom <laughs> teacher is that? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Who invented grandpa, you, bro? How much you want to bet there was like this whole coddling? Because he knows he sounds like shit and it's embarrassing. He's like, no, go ahead, just sing. We'll make it sound good. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We'll I'm embarrassed. It. it doesn't sound good. They, go turn, they turn the Melodyne to 10 for his voice, yeah. bro. Let's hear this. Let's hear this. All the way down to the keys. Only he will bring us closer. <laughs> Should we fall to our knees? <laughs> Dude, it sounds like, like one of those throat things. It changed his voice so much to yeah. put him in key. He sounds like a cartoon character. When we fall to our knees. And you yeah. him. That kind of hey, sounds cool that's our though. Boy. There he is. Um, we got. I love Big Nick. He's a portal into this world that I would never, ever, ever know about. Yeah, it shocked me. Like, I great. saw this video posted all over the place, and I watched like a few minutes, and I saw the Michael Flynn part. And it, like you, I got to it and was like so blown away that I immediately paused <laughs> and I didn't watch the next few seconds, and I didn't even realize Big Nick is in this shit. So wait, awesome. did you find this by checking up on Big Nicky? No, I, I was oh. just uh, getting ready. Uh, uh, I, I I finally sat down and watched the whole video when I got to the Nick. Big Nick part. That's so nice because we were just talking about how we need to check in on it. Yeah. All right, Nick, spit it. I know he's he's a he's a musician. He has. Yeah, for sure. You know he has he has tracks. Closer. And he followed up Michael Closer. Flynn. I mean, yeah, nice warm up act. When we fall to our That's respect. <laughs> when you lift us from the ground. Ooh. <laughs> yes. That was fire. That was sick. So that everyone can see hey, everyone. that we never lost our freedom. It's in his glory. This is almost as bad as Flynn's. I, I still have no idea what they're singing about. Well, let's hear, uh, let me listen more carefully. I, I just <laughs> Well, they're just talking about freedom and houses burning down and uh, right. just just generic, vi- vague references to God. You can take all our money. But you can't have our soul. Is he talking about taxes? What is he talking about? Take all our money, but you can't have our soul. Like taxes? Yeah, I guess. Don't tax me, bro. Or like rob them. I mean, he's being robbed. 
I mean, I'll I just be the- real. He looks like he's five foot three and three hundred pounds. Oh, oh, play this down by. You think? He, Yo, this is who Oliver Anthony about? can't deal with this song. Like, right. He was invited. And he walked in mm-hmm. and saw there you go, the short guy, short heavy set guy. I was like, I'm fucking out. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Fuck you, Casey <laughs> Anthony, the real voice of the right. What do you think about this? Casey Anthony. Casey Anthony. Wait, what the are you talking about? Casey Anthony? What's he talking about? You talking about Oliver? Oliver Anthony. Anthony. Casey Anthony. Casey. Anthony. Casey. Casey's a cousin. The worst mother in the world. <laughs> Clearly, there's a divide happening in the musical Jimmy, world of I'm the conservative. Done paying for your fudge rounds, you Minecraft I mean, bearded fuck. That's it. Yeah. This song is actually uh, it's a critique on capitalism. This uh, song, the freedom song. Yeah, stop taking all my money. Mm, right. Anti-capitalism. Yeah, I disagree. I think it's about an oligopoly uh, in the sense of mm. uh, economics. Mm. Uh, mm. That's that's a very 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 yes. I think it's about plutocrats. Yes, these are all really hey, murder. Oops, really good uh, interpretation hmm. there. Thank you. Our money, but you can't have our soul. You can burn down our building. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever heard auto tuning working so overtime. Yeah, that and machine was here. fucking smoking. They got the paid gold an hour for that. Sparking. <laughs> Michael fucking Flynn. He couldn't put on the t-shirt. He had to pop the collar out. Mm. You know? He had to mm. keep it classy for the folks at home. He got that Q-neck on, dude. That's right. Well, he's so jacked that he knew it would be kind of unfair to Jimmy if he took his shirt off. True, true. Yeah. True. But you can't have our soul. You can burn down our Dude. buildings, <laughs> and we'll still find a home. This, this Them is like crazy. trying to that's, get her that, to sing anything. No, that's crazy <laughs> that anyone released that is so crazy to me. <laughs> the um the clip of her when it goes when it cuts to her in the studio, you see the person like trying to get her to sing the right notes with her. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, uh, I don't even think they up. bothered. I think they were just like, just do it, and we'll. Figure it out and post. Um, we will all stick together. What? And we'll never surrender. We won't give <laughs> up yeah. our yeah, freedom. Oh, oh, <laughs> uh, they clearly aren't good singers, but they all want to be like in sync or something. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. damn, give the auto tuner a do break. Do you remember that guy from The Bachelorette? Which one? The one that just sang. <gasps> He's from The Bachelorette. This guy? Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I remember reading Wait, that uh, a, a former reality what show season? star was in, in this. In, uh, Jojo Fletcher season, season 12. Is it James? I oh, that. I didn't watch Jojo season. James, yeah. And he was at January 6th as well. <laughs> what guy. a guy. I like he's consistent. James Mc... He lives in Texas. McCoy Taylor. James McCoy Taylor. Okay. The Brita's description. He's exiled from the Bachelor Nation, That's right. dude. They kicked me out along with Chris Harrison. <laughs> they were cleaning house. Here it is. Sing, brother. That, uh, also, apparently, somebody from uh, one of the Housewife shows is in here, too. Maybe the lady with the horrible spray tan that we uh, saw a second oh, ago. Oh, she could be from New Jersey. I don't keep up with that one. Oh, I think it, I think I read it was New yeah, Jersey. Okay, so yeah, okay. So I do know. So the I, worst Housewife show. I, people like it. I just haven't watched it. But oh, okay. I recognize her, so there it is. You know, oh, there you uh, go. I, my, I'm still undefeated with my Housewife lore. So I don't, I just, I don't know what the song's about. I just freedom, dude. Can you not read? <laughs> I don't know what that means. What do you mean? <laughs> like, yeah, well, I, we all like freedom, I guess. Most of us, anyway. Freedom to what? <laughs> it just seems like it's so important to them that I would think that there would be some overt messaging to it. Because they all came together. He wrote that he's a prophet sent by God. I mean, but here I'm looking over the words right now to try and uh, put it together. Freedom, we just love that guy's not even singing. Man. Freedom, no, we won't give up our freedom. 
Yes. Give us that freedom. Go on. Michael. General Flynn. Solo. Shout out Cuban on Deep State. Where we go one, we go all. Q's coming back. Any day now. Keep your keep your eyes on the board. JFK Jr. is still alive. The storm's coming. Oh, so there's a group Trump called... Latinos, Billboard charting duo. Oh, credits. Very cool. What is it? Looks like they died. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> uh, I'm... This is a death credit. Yeah. Out of their career. Immediately after this song, the 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 auto tune machine, it got overloaded and actually detonated and killed everyone in this room. So rest in peace to Jimmy Levy. Uh, rest in peace, Nick. Trump Latinos, who uh, tragically died Latinos. in a car accident soon after this video. Yep. Look at this pause. Uh, rest in <laughs> peace to Marcus Rogers, who uh, tragically fell down a manhole and died. <laughs> All right. Uh, actually slipped on a banana peel going down a uh, flight wow, of stairs. Wow, pussycat doll. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. Is that what it said? That's horrible news. Former pussycat doll. <laughs> what happened? I fucking love the pussycat dolls. Oh, Nicole no. Scherzinger, she's the only one of them. Is there... What does it mean, former? Are they still together, but she got... No. Oh. Uh, no. So why not just say pussycat doll? Right. The well, former the pussycat is doll Once a pussycat doll, always a pussycat Nicole doll. Nicole Scherzinger went on to do a solo career. I don't know if the pussycat dolls ever came back, did they? Hmm. Reality show. Reality show. Uh, my boy! They canceled Focaccia the Focaccia bread. Number one billboard. Um, Choked on a, on a focaccia con. bread. Rest in peace. What, Olivia? Sorry, they were going to come back in 2020, but it was canceled. Oh, no. So, yes, former. Oh, hmm, I wonder why. Oh, no. another. Maybe it's because of the tragedy, insurrection. Another tragedy of COVID, Maybe. I was going to say. Female vaginas. COVID Especially. kept the uh, Pussycat dolls from us. General. <laughs> <laughs> I love going for all these reality show stars. 18th Director of National Security. Yeah. 18th Director of Defense. Defense Intelligence, Intelligence Agency. Agency. 24th U.S. National Security. Uh, security advisor. That um, shirt is way too tight for his neck. Yeah, he's Mr. Nasty. He is life. squeezing out there like toothpaste. <laughs> he's coming out of a tube. Yeah. Uh, Gen oh General Flynn was hit by a black helicopter airstrike on his way home. <laughs> he will be missed. <laughs> Christian content creator, Big Nick. <laughs> Real Housewives. Oh, that's her. Okay, okay. Singers, oh, I, I don't, man, the American Idol is a breeding ground for What's weird going on ass in dudes. American Idol? Wait, are, is there a relate? She's Levy too? She's from. Is that just. Is that Jimmy's sister or something? <laughs> Levy? Oh, hmm. They have the same last name, don't they? Could be yeah. a relation. I mean, what's the chances? She needs to line up her beard too. Then we could recognize I think they might be up. siblings. The Bachelorette. Professional fighter, comedian, or he's super funny. <laughs> what are these freeze frames? They're just like picking the most awkward frames of freeze. Wait, frames. news anchor? What the hell? I I don't want to be too over like critical, but that font is horrible. It is so. so I feel like it's just default, right? So bad. Yeah, I, mean, like, I don't, I don't know. Bothered. I don't know what the process was in picking that that <laughs> font, but man. It was not a good choice. <laughs> what? This is the best shot you had of this movie? <laughs> a bunch of them are like terrible. Wait, I've never seen this person. Yeah, they weren't. In they this cut her ass. Yeah. That auto tune couldn't what save her. What is a conservative <laughs> ant on one? Matchmaker, what? investigator, what author. Director, savior, really? if you're. Like Fear. Let's see how many people worked on that. Thanks. All right. Well, that was fun. Wow. <laughs> you know what I want to do? Let's pull up the lyrics. Okay. So that we can, I just, I really want to know what they're trying to say. Uh, their message is important to understand. Um, lyrics. Let's see here. I think this is auto generated. So there might be a couple. Typos, but we could probably suss here, out I got it here. what it's supposed to be. You can take all of our money. money. 
But you can't can have, have us all. You can burn down our buildings, and we'll still find a home. You can do all of these negative things. We will to stick me. together, right? And never surrender. Ooh. We won't give up our freedom. Okay, so this first part. I don't know. No, okay. So there were bright lights before it all went too dark. And their white lies, they divided our heart. In the blink of an eye, we were all left with scars. Listen to a man. Listen to man made decisions. Should have trusted God. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. Man. Uh, a white lie is like a white harmless light, lie. White light. Oh, yeah. White lie. So a mm -hmm. bright light, bright lights before it all went dark. Is that like. Oh, oh, Misled white by... lies is in lies Why? about white people. Yeah, for sure. Mm. They divided our hearts. Who? Okay, I still don't know what who are, they're talking about. You Did know they... who? You know who they are? <laughs> I, I guess. Come on, no, that Zionists. <laughs> That's uh, words. Uh, you can take all our money, but you can't have our soul. It's the same. It's the verse again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. From the shores of California all the way down to the quays? I thought I you said, he said keys. the keys. Yeah. Okay. Only he Florida will bring keys. us together when we fall to our knees, and he'll lift us from the ground so that everyone can see that we never lost our freedom. It's in his glory. What freedom? What, what freedoms have you lost? None, because they believe in Jesus. You can take all, and then it, that that's it. That's the that's the whole song. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said in the chat said uh, GPT lyrics. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Actually, I don't. But know. But you could get Chat GPT like, to spit something out yeah. like that. Chat Chat GPT would be more specific. <laughs> They're very goal oriented, you know. Well, you know, and it's music, and it's supposed to have a wide appeal. They're probably not trying to get too in the weeds to maybe attract people that aren't quite as far gone as them. You want to see what we could make? Make our own uh, say, We Are the World? Say, ask ChatGPT, write me a, a rewriting of We Are the World from an American conservative perspective about loving God. The song, We Are the World, but rewrite it from the perspective of an American uh, conservative. conservative. Who what? Who loves God. Who loves Jesus and God. Yeah, yeah. Above all. Yes. The central, the central theme should be freedom. Oh, so no. Let's see freedom. what it gets. Oh, shit. Okay, this is a tough sell with the freedom one. He's thinking? Oh, it's spinning. Oh, dude. You know the meme of the, the guy writing lyrics and it's like on fire? Because so that's what ChatGPT is doing right now. Hold it up. Don't keep us waiting. All right, here. I'm dropping it in the, uh, dropping it. Send it here, brother. Here. All right, here we go. Oh, this is a lot. See, there's a lot of lyrics here. It's, okay. There comes a time when we must stand. Sing it. There comes a time when we must stand for the land of the free and the brave in our hand. Oh! And the world must unite. In his name we proclaim. It's true we turn to Jesus. Freedom's flame. Yo! Way better. Way better. That's crazy. Let's go, GPT. There's, and I'll just continue. There are people dying, but hope's still alive. It's time to lend a hand to conserve and revive. Mm. The greatest gift of all is the freedom we hold, gifted by God, more precious than gold. Dude! <laughs> Crazy. Oh, this Fuck. is good. This Straight is good. fire, bro. And they have a chorus, too. We are the free. We are the bold. We are the voices, the stories untold. So let's perfect. start giving with God as our guide. There's a choice that we're making, and freedom can't hide. <laughs> okay. Next yeah. verse. Yeah, this is an upgrade. This so an when upgrade. you're down and out, there's no hope at all. But if you just believe, there's no way we can fall. Well, let's realize that we can check. I was that that was an itch, by the way, not a pick. From the rashes and stuff is an itch. Roger. Seinfeld reference, but also real. Um, uh, well, let's realize that we can change it all with faith, 
for and freedom will stand tall. The chorus continues. Here's the bridge. Send God's grace and his love will embrace when we come together as one. From the mountains high to the oceans wide, his love, his freedom has just begun. There's actually a lot, but I think we've proven that it's better. Mm-hmm. It reworded a lot of the original lyrics, too. Like Interesting. You know? Yeah. Very interesting. This makes you realize how sh- shit that dude is at writing lyrics. Can't you be just crushed, you dude? You're out of a job. Um, let's see. Apparently, Big Nick, Big Nicholas, Big Saint Saint Nick, uh, is popping off. He's actually blowing up on TikTok. A little bit. And I and I'm being serious. Yeah. Um, here's a recent one of his videos about Nephilim. What that's like a Diablo three thing, isn't it? <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. Uh, Diablo 3 probably got it from uh, Christianity. <laughs> the Nephilim. I've never heard anybody talk about Never heard about the Nephilim? The Nephilim, yeah, the Nephilim yeah. are big in conspiracy circles. Nephilim in the Hebrew Bible, the Christian Old Testament, thanks. A group of mysterious beings or people of unusually large size and strength who lived both before and after the flood. The Nephilim are referenced in Genesis. So they're like, they're like demon monsters or like giant monsters. Something like that. I feel like I would notice them. (laughs) You're about to learn a lot more. By the way, almost 300,000 likes. Yep. Here he is. A lot of people don't understand, but the Nephilim are here on Earth right now. They're walking amongst us. Shape-shifting is real. And shape-shifting is real. I'll tell you something, Nick. (laughs) If Nephilim, if I was a Nephilim and I didn't want to ever be found, I'd disguise myself as you. Right. Think about it. Right. That's a good point. Just saying. He's just trying to, trying to distract and divert attention away. Prove to me you're not a Nephilim. Exactly. Nephilim are here on Earth right now. They're walking What did he just show? I'm sorry. He edited It's a video. Nephilim. He shows a... No, that's what they look like. Shot from... I don't even know what that's from. A video game? Something. Or a show I've or something. I've seen it. Yeah, it's a short film. It's called Rakya. What's a random about? short film. Um, aliens. I don't know. Sick. Fire. Not about Nephilim is what you're saying? I don't know. I'll, I'm looking it up. Are here on Earth right now. They're walking amongst us. Yeah, yeah. Shape-shifting is yeah, real. Totally, and bro. shape-shifting is biblical because <laughs> the Bible the even says that you may guy. be entertaining angels. Man, he's not even listening, bro. He's co- This is coconut to <laughs> Barbados all over again. He's just like, so true, bro. There are huge... <laughs> there are, there are monster shapeshifters from before the time of the flood. That's so true, bro. He doesn't even give them that much. It's just... Wow, man. Yeah. That you may be entertaining angels, even though they come in the form of humans. And so if that exists in the angelic realm, shapeshifting most definitely exists in the demonic realm. And a lot of the... Bro, are you, like, working on a Dungeons & Dragons thing? Like, like are you a dungeon master? Himself? What's happening here? <laughs> Yeah, because uh, the description of Nephilim that you just read that's from the Old Testament didn't sound like this. No. But he's just, he's so deep into, like, the fantasy of it. He's yeah. like, roll, he's like, you know what I mean? Go LARPing or something, man. Get it out of your system. Nephilim actually can shapeshift into humans. We've mm-hmm. seen people talking on the news, and then they're... Oh, my God, Nick. <laughs> eyes turned into these... Rep- oh, brother. <laughs> We've seen this. Oh, man. <laughs> Tile slits for a split second and then go back to just being a human. So a lot of the Damn, nef- so true. Fuck, I felt that. <laughs> I love them. I felt that. So good. <laughs> right now are doing experiments on humans. Area 51. He know all these this? deep underground. He knows so, he knows so much. Yeah. How does he know all this? He's a Nephilim. That's the only right. explanation for why he would know all this. That's- I know where they are, I know what they're doing, I know why they're here. Okay, where are you getting this info from, Nephilim? God! From God. (laughs) I'm just saying, we shouldn't trust Big Nick. 
on military bases. They literally have humans attached to machines. How do you know that? Incubators doing mind control experiments on them, like MK <laughs> Ultra. All of this programming Damn. that the media is doing on the masses and manipulating humans. The Nephilim had already beta tested this in their underground facilities thousands of years ago. They're way ahead of the yeah. game because they have somewhat of angelic knowledge still. People want to act like that stuff doesn't exist, but you could do research on deep. <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> underground military bases and realize that there's Christian a whole interconnected subterranean network across the entire country. Oh, they're so they're so obsessed with being persecuted. It's like yeah. God did. Just complain when it happens, okay? Iranian network across the entire country. So let me read the comments, man. But yeah, hashtag Christian TikTok, hashtag Christian hashtag Jesus. I, I'm sorry, but have, these people have lost the plot. Where is God? Was it Jesus and God and all this? This dude's gonna end up missing the government is against us. This dude, this dude's gonna end up missing. Oh, they're coming for Nick because yeah. he's speaking. No, he's telling too much truth. Uh, dude, never thought of this. Dude. <laughs> uh, written by his co host. Dude. <laughs> I like the next one. This, this is not is true. Not true. Flame emojis. They tell us in the movies, but we take it for granted. All this is revealed. An MCU <laughs> secret invasion. That's fucking awesome. And that's my take, really. Yeah. The, dude. Years ago, I thought about this and thought I was crazy. Now it's happening. This and now I have like the urge to know Jesus. What's happening? <laughs> what do you mean it's happening? Now? What is happening? <laughs> also, what are you going to do if it is real? If it's like, <laughs> really Nothing. No they, exactly. they just says, I'll be with Jesus. Tell you, yeah. you save us. Jesus, who created the Nephilim. And put them here to torture us. Mm. Apparently. Um, bro, you can't just say that stuff. You gotta back it up. I agree with some of what you say. <laughs> because I know the background. But to teach, you have sources. Okay, this I like the skepticism. They're not fully skeptical, but they're asking the right questions. Listen, I am fully willing to accept that there are mythical lizard shapeshifters walking amongst us. But... But I need photographs. That's all I want. Just one HD photograph. Um, Please. This is great. I've been waiting for someone to talk about this. You have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Stay been prayed up, around. brother. Stay prayed up. <laughs> Yo. That's right? odd. Like it's a tank that you have to keep juiced. <laughs> keep yeah. your prey meter Top high, up. boys. Top up. If we too risky time to get our pre meter on down like on low like, um, that's great. I love Big Nick. I mean, this is a great source of content. Let's see what else he's up to. Um, here he explains. Gideon just gave his. Here he explains in a recent video that in the last three months his follower count has exploded. Fascinating. Here's another one, 250,000 likes. That's big numbers. Life to Jesus Christ, but his reason for doing so may shock you. In this video, he explains how he was in an Uber ride and an Uber driver asked him this question. If you were to die today, where would you be going? Heaven or hell? The Holy Spirit convicted him in that moment and the scales fell off of his eyes. In this video, he makes a complete confession leaving lukewarmness behind and truly pursuing Jesus. Jesus is telling me that I have to hate the world, but the world loves me. If I do follow Jesus, if I do follow his word, I'm okay, not Okay, but what, uh, let's cut to the, cut the the bullshit. What, what's the deal with the Nephilim? Jesus. Come on, man. Let's talk about what's really important. I've been waiting for someone to talk about the Nephilim. Be Judeon anymore. I'm not gonna be popping. I'm not gonna be on your guys' for you pages. When I changed my content from secular comedy to Christian content, I lost <laughs> followers and money. This and secular? <laughs> Just because it's like that's funny. That's funny for three years straight. However, God saw my obedience, and in the past three months, my life has come. God saw my obedience. What a dark worldview that is. Ugh, you're, an ob you're a dog. You're God's obedient dog. Why does he speak in riddles? He speaks in dumbass. Uh, dude, God just gave you a little treat because you're an obedient dog. That's what you said about yourself. God uh, blew, blew up your TikTok algorithm. Mm -hmm. such You're a, stupid. Such a bad thing. dog. God did that. For being a good boy. Yeah. Obedient. Dog. Good boy, Big Nick. 
TikTok algorithm is Now lick my like shoe, Big Nick. Be a good boy. Mm -hmm. For you pages. When I changed my content from secular comedy to Christian content, I lost followers and money consistently for three years straight. However, God saw my obedience, and in the past three <laughs> months, my life has completely turned around for the better. I started gaining thousands of followers every day again, as well as being in a better financial position now than when I was in the world <laughs> making secular videos. <laughs> Exactly, because being a right wing grifter is one of the best paying jobs in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, Big Nick is rolling in it somehow. This guy doesn't do shit. God hooked up the algo. That's it, man. I'm sure the Koch brothers are already paying, have him on <laughs> payroll or something. Yeah. Crazy. Jesus says in Mark 4 8, and other fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some 30, some 60, and some 100. This was a parable of sowing into the kingdom of God. Jideon, just know through your obedience, it is not going to be constant suffering for the rest of your life. God will honor your sacrifice and return to you a hundredfold what you left behind. A little gospelity, uh, a prosperity gospel. Um, Bad dog. Is Gideon f still on the Jesus thing? So that was real. That's what happened. Win. Wow. That's interesting. I mean, that's pretty interesting. That's the biggest 180 in maybe creator or history. Jesus. Wow. Um, let's see what Big Nicholas is up to. Okay. Now you all want to see a demonic Israel take? I don't know what he's about to say, but Big... Not good because of what he says or shows. Oh, what were you? It's okay. So just saying, Big Nick. Here's a video about um, Israel, and I know he's gonna have the most demon take about Palestinians. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, it, it actually, it's if you can believe it, it's worse than that. He, I'm telling you, these these ultra conservatives, they fucking. Love Israel for the most effed up possible because they believe that I guess when Jesus comes back, he's going to kill all the Jews and the Jews are supposed to like keep Israel safe till Jesus comes back and then we all die. So like they love Israel, man, and they hate Arabs. Um, let's see what he has to say. I'm just pre I'm just predicting it. And again, you're on the right track, but it's it's worse than that. How? Okay, let's. I'm excited. Now what? <laughs> Not just Arabs. <coughs> uh oh. Currently been under attack by a terrorist organization called Hamas for the past few days, and it seems like end time Bible prophecy is unfolding before our very uh -huh. eyes. Iran recently ordered Hamas to invade Israel, and this organization has already slaughtered. I mean, that's probably okay, that's not actually not confirmed. Yeah, definitely probably not. true, but not confirmed. I do find his uh, the way he frames his videos very. Uh, Enticing, like he has a hold on me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. In a, like a Vulcan uh, mind. Uh, <laughs> He's mind melting. Yeah, exactly. Quite the entertainer. I think, entertainer I think what is. you're feeling there is God's touch. Yeah, yeah I'm, God's presence. I'm turning. Like, that's the Holy Spirit. I'm turning to Christ. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. He has a good cadence, like a news guy. He's like, here's some of the shit. Yeah, so all the uh, Palestinians should be killed. And anyway, God's dope. All right, see you guys next time. Well, also like the the way he's just looking into my soul. He is. He knows, man. He knows. He knows. Yeah, he knows. Slaughtered 250 innocent civilians, as well as leaving another 1,500 injured. Hamas has been recognized. I think it's up to almost 2,000 now, just saying. It's across the world as a terrorist organization, as they are heavily influenced by Islamic ideologies. Unfortunately, this type of behavior is taught in the Quran. In Surah oh, Al-Ma'idah. No. Yep, he's, here we go. He's going against... I, we should probably have the disavow thing up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And frankly, I don't. How has this been up on? T Once you see the rest of this, it's crazy that this has been up for two days. <laughs> I was just, it just thought to me like, how is he actually saying this? Well, I don't even know where he's going, but uh, let's pull it up. The disavow disclaimer. Thank you. 5.33, it says this. The punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and strive to make mischief in the land is only this, that they should be murdered or crucified or their hands and their feet should be cut off from opposite sides. Yeah, like the Bible doesn't have any fucked up shit. Oh, yeah. Not violent no paragraphs. Way. I do enjoy the music with that sick-ass kick drum, though. He dropped the beat. He dropped the beat. He dropped the beat, bro. <laughs>
or they should be in prison. This shall be as a disgrace for them in this world, and in the hereafter they shall have a grievous chastisement. If you ever notice why Islamic groups are usually involved in acts of violence, it is because someone who does not believe in Islam is commanded to be annihilated due to their belief system. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. Just he goes on and on, but it's basically just Psycho. pure Psycho. Un unmitigated just Islamophobia. Everybody who is Muslim is evil. Thomas. Religion is evil. Yada yada. Which again. Two days this has been up, has a ton of views. Like, we can't post fucking jack shit on TikTok without yeah, getting this banned. Guy, this guy was just like, every Muslim in the world is a fucking... Is evil. A violent... Full freak. stop. Like, crazy. So well, it's, it's hashtag Jesus, so it's good. Jesus wins, top comment. I'm happy for you and how you've changed from the past. Christ is king. I'm so happy you've changed into a genocidal... Racist freak. Also, I'm being informed uh, from the chat that they recognize that song, uh, so it probably is copyright. So I should probably. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Well, I'll, I'll just. I'm just muse forever. Uh, here's another Damn. one. This the Gideon one. What's this one? Damn. This new Christian oh, movie. Oh God, has he's doing it about the sound of freedom. That it's being suppressed. It's been heavily suppressed by Hollywood. But when you see why this... Let, let me turn it down, the music, just so... Maybe it's a little less likely to... Based on a real story about Phil Robertson from the popular show Duck Dynasty, Wait, shares what? the tragic reality of alcoholism and demonic possession. This movie was rejected by big mainstream studios, which Probably is not surprising sucked. considering Hollywood tries to gatekeep... Not surprising because the main character is from Duck Dynasty. Not, not what I'd call a blockbuster lineup there, mm. Nick. Any messages about God due to their satanic culture. They deemed this movie too controversial and worked hard on blacklisting it. However, they are losing their grip on controlling the narrative quickly. This movie is about an alcoholic's redemption story, exposing the dark nature of this addiction. Oh my god, this one's boring, Zach. I'm not with you. Oh, uh, I, I praise Christ. I, praise <laughs> Christ. I found God. <laughs> Born again. So this is pretty interesting, don't you guys think? Oh yeah. Uh, there was one, if you scroll down a little bit more, there was one that had like a fucking... Here, this one has 3 million. 12 yeah. million! This one has 13 million. Yo, I mean, did anyone ever... Doja Cat just came... Um, do, you, do we think this is David's fault, A.B.? This? Did A.B. do this to Nick? Did or, sorry, sorry, sorry. Did, Do <laughs> sorry. did Dobrik do I this to Nick? He probably thinks I did. <laughs> did Dobrik do this to Nick? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. Nah, I mean, towards the end... It's not your fault. I mean, you know, back in the day, even when I was wrongfully so defending David, it was because of him being one of the main people at first, you know, before any of the serious allegations came out. I'm like, oh, I don't know if we can trust what he's saying. He, you were right. Yeah. You were right about it's that. It's not your fault. I think to an extent, certainly. Although I, I don't, yeah. I mean, not the most reliable narrator I'm seeing now. Yeah. But yeah, David did do fucked up shit as well. I mean, the jokes about you know his size and stuff. But who knows? Who knows if he was he pretended to be okay with it or whatever it was. So you know, to an extent, though, what we saw in video is bad. Yeah. Absolutely. So hey, no, I believe we believe you, Nick. Just not after everything you said. After that, thanks. Came out with so again, this is 13 million views. It's about Doja. Music video, and it is one of the darkest things I've ever seen. In this music video, she completely transforms herself into a demonic creature, as well oh. as cozying up next to the Grim Reaper in symbolic occult outfits. She then proceeds to say in her song that she's the devil, and then repeats the same claim later on. Bro, you're so soft. Oh my god. Chill. Wait till he hears Black Sabbath, dude. <laughs> Someone said, bro's scared of his own shadow. Exactly. It's like, <laughs> chill. It's just a music video, man. But there it is. We love Big Nick, and we support Big Nick. And we're all rooting for him, in the words of Joe Biden. <laughs> Cameron sent me this. Uh, I don't know, it might be too niche, but... Command and Conquer, Red Alert. Oh, you, they used to have, like, uh... Little pop-ups. Yeah, 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 yeah. What it remind me of? What a stupid son of a bitch. The Mephilim are invading from the east. Prepare the tanks. Uh, oh, let's play the game. Let's play the game, for Christ's sake. We're, we're coming, you know, I forgot what we're doing here. Let's play the damn game.
Is everyone ready? Uh, Dan stepped away. When Dan he comes went back. to the bathroom. Yeah. All right. So the game is this. Let me set it up here. One by one, the crew members will appear on a screen as a VTuber in disguise with a voice changer. These are very good voice changers. I will not know who they are. Ethan will then proceed to ask, that's me, a series of questions and determine who is behind the filter. After I lock in my guesses, we will reveal who's behind each mask. Now, my questions, yeah, I set it up. We're ready to go. So, so I'll say this. My questions have to be reasonable. They can't be overly, uh, yeah, overly specific. Exactly. So wait, is everybody leaving? Just me? Uh, I'll still be switching. Just me and you, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. On your own. Damn. Everyone's leaving. I know. They, A.B. said they're unionizing. Oh, no. So, Ian, how you doing? Doing great. Feeling good. Just me and Ian. smile has been plastered on my face with excitement for this segment. You look very happy. Thank you, Zach. It's nice but to yeah. see you. It's nice to see you, you know, smiling and happy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Zach's going to go down after this one. So we in, just me and Ian sitting in a room. S I T T I N G. So Ian, what are your thoughts on Israel and Gaza? Hold on, I just closed the picture. Yeah, I should have one where you're smiling even, I about have one it. Where where this guy is just gone? Wait, I, I if I may speak for you, Ian. I'm Do not, not speak this for one, me. Man. I'm talking over anything you're going to play. I'm not touching no, no, this. No, 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 no. So you don't want to touch the the conflict? I understand. Ethan, there's a, a sign next to you. If you could pull that into frame, actually, where you will be making your guesses here. Here, let me come help you with that. All right. So here, guys, we have the avatars. I'll have to put this. Down. Yeah. There you go. I'll come adjust the camera. Here, let me just move my laptop a little bit there. And maybe bring it over here more. All right. Exciting. Very, very exciting times here at the H3 podcast. Indeed. We have. Wait, God damn it. We have. I'll adjust it for So you. these are the avatars. And yeah. here I've got the... Uh, All the crew faces there. So everybody faces. is down uh, downstairs. And these two, are these um, unneeded? Are there two extras? Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't need those. We don't need these. All right. So look at all these beautiful faces here. We've got Zach. I have... The... Cameron, always the artist. Sam. We love Sam. Who is she? Dan has never looked good. AB. We love AB. Lena. We love Lena. Okay, so uh, I'm also going to be sort of monitoring to make sure you're not asking any questions that are too obvious. So you can't ask him anything like, uh, what was your favorite job? Or, you know. How was California Pizza Kitchen? Anything like that? Sure, sure, and and, and you'll keep me honest. I'll, I'll try not to uh, do that. We keep the game fair. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like the first person is ready. Coming All up right. on the stage, we have the turkey. Oh, a turkey from hell. I see, turkey. You seem to be. Um, it's not quite time for you yet. It seems that you died before Thanksgiving. I can't hear the turkey. Test, test, test. Oh, there's the turkey. Go ahead, turkey. Okay. 
Hi, you can hear me? I can hear you. Great. <laughs> What's up? So I was saying, you appear to be in hell, is that right? That's right. That's Cam. What? I can just tell, it's the way he talks, that's Cam, I know it. No. <laughs> turkey, why is it that you're in hell? I don't believe it's time for the turkeys to die yet. That, that happens in, in November. Your thoughts? Uh, I didn't watch Big Nick's TikToks. Big Nick's TikToks. Do you yeah. believe in Nephilim, uh, Turkey? Yeah, it's true, it's all true. Dude, I'm, I'm so sure. All right, Turkey, go get out of here. All right. I'm going to eat your ass. Can't All right, the Zach is uh, heading down. That was, okay. You were very confident on that one. I just, Pretty much I, I, line I, one. I just, I'm usually not good at these games. That's Cam. Hmm. Is that a Cam type of move to not try and disguise his voice whatsoever? Oh, so you're saying it is Cam. No, I'm just saying, is that what you perceived there as a cam move i don't I, know no it just sounded like him is that what you're it saying like yeah just oh, no no like i'm him. i'm just trying to help think it through with you it was cam that was a that turkey was cameron hmm. it's hmm. the cadence it's the way he talks you know the same mannerism what's up but like wait that? if they're if they're disguising their voice then is that kind of uh cheating i don't know hmm. who's next uh, looks like they're queuing up the next person. Sorry, Look. Cam. Yeah, we no. don't know if that's Cameron. That's definitely Cam. And we love Cameron. That's And that's good. We love turkeys and we love Cameron. So it's, everyone's winning tonight here. On right. Guess That Crew Member. Without audio. So they're slowly... Pretty rough out here. Setting up uh, what appears to be some oh, demonic granny... Uh, Seems to be having some <laughs> facial issues here. Granny, are you there? Is the granny... I won't turn on the audio yet. Granny, they're, setting up. they're all in hell? They're not meant to all be in hell. You know, there's... There's a lot of moving parts here. You're bringing in turkeys, you're sending them out. Did they choose their own background? Uh, no, they all, they all chose their own persona. That, that was chosen. The background was not one of their decisions. That was not in the budget of time. Got it. To, to coordinate. Got it, got it, got it. But yes. So whenever the grandma is ready, I'm waiting for the go-ahead from the granny gang downstairs. <coughs> They're nodding. Okay. Granny, how are you today? Good. Okay. Why are you in hell? What, what crimes have you committed on earth? You don't want to know. What? You don't want to know. Wait, wait, wait. Are you... What? What did you say? I can't understand you, Granny. What? What? Do you have a speech problem? No. Granny kind of sounds like Joe Biden a little bit, I think. Okay, you don't have a speech problem. So, Granny, let me ask you this question. Who is your favorite grandchild of the three that you have? That's Grand a weird question. Yeah, well, answer it. I don't know. I just want to hear you talk. Just talk. Uh, Jeff. Your favorite is Jeff. Yeah. Grandma, I need to hear your voice more. You're not giving me much to work with. How much? Well, ask me a question. I keep asking you questions, but you're dodging them, dude. Not a good question. Not a stupid fucking question. That's AB. Got it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> nice try, Grandma. It, it's not. All right, we're locking in AB as the granny. <laughs> Get out of here, granny. Okay. All right, thank you, Grandma. That, that voice filter was wild. It actually threw me for quite a so loop. What was your line of reasoning there as that being AB? Again, it's the, it's the manner that they speak. He goes, that's a stupid fucking question. That's like an ABism. And then it's the same thing with Cam. It's like he, he's doing Camisms. You know what I mean? Hmm. 
Okay, they're queuing up. They seem to just be staying in hell. They don't seem to want to leave hell. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm wondering about. Hmm. Um, we have here the a beautiful Barbie doll. Okay. Uh, kind of thing? Yes, I believe they are here now. Yeah, uh, golden toy. No, but you can't. Okay, hold on. Doing an accent is not fair. I think that's. I, I will allow it as the judge. All right, fair enough. Uh, so, um, hello. Uh, nice to meet you. What's your name? Nice to try. No, your your avatar name, not your real name. Mm. Mm. I don't know. That's love. <laughs> it's love. No. It's love. No. It is not the love. <laughs> Wow. Stunning performance. Love, tell me this. Um, what, what caused you to go to hell? Uh, nothing. I was born in... You were born in hell? Yep. That's kind of rude to, to consider Sweden hell. I don't know if a lot of your countrymen would uh, appreciate that. I'm American. I'm born in America. All right. Thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wow. Uh, again, once again, it was, there was just, if you talk, if you hear him talk, hmm. there's the love-isms, there's the cadence. I, I thought love was the turkey, to be honest. Okay, well, we'll find out. I'm we will really, certainly. I'm flabbergasted at all of these. Come to the truth, won't we? <laughs> I wonder, see, you, sometimes I've been super um, confident. Mm-hmm. And I'm dead wrong. I see people in chat saying Zach, so... But I, I don't know, I feel really confident. I feel really confident. Okay, well, we'll see, you know? This is, this is a challenging game. Oscar-worthy, really. Oh, who's next? Thank you so much. We're queuing up a... Uh, <laughs> what looks to be a... Demon in hell. I'm, you know, the funny thing would be to change the background now. You know what? I'm gonna make a funny prediction. Mm -hmm. I think it's Dan, and I haven't even heard him talk. Just based on this yeah. right here. Yeah, but go ahead. I, okay. I reserve the right to change my. All mind. right, the audio's on. Go ahead, uh, demon person. Hello. Huh? Hello. Hello. What is your name, demon? Uh Zulia. Zulia. And are you, um, the keeper of hell? Are you a sergeant in hell's army? What is your rank down there? I am the key master. You're the key master. Is that a reference to Ghostbusters? What's that? That voice changer is really good. That one's crazy. Thank you. Well, I wasn't complimenting you so much as the software you're using. Whatever, did. Whatever, did. Are do you believe in Nephilim? Do you see Nephilim down there? See them every day at our uh, smoke break. Mm, this is the first hard one. So you s do smoke breaks with Nephilim. Have you, have you ever uh, countered any issues? You guys generally get along. Guys, a fucking dick, dude. Say that again. The guy. He's a fucking dick, dude. The guy is a fucking dick, dude. Dude, I don't know who this is. All right, let me ask you some questions then. Yeah? What's the best dream you've ever had? Your most memorable dream. Describe it to me. I was in an open field, and, uh... I was taking a walk, and, uh... It's Dan. I, I, do th myself. I think it's Dan. I think I was right from the beginning. I think no, it's, Dan, all these all. I think it's Dan. I, I do. Because again, it's the Danism. He goes, the ah, uh, that part. Ah. Uh, hmm? It doesn't have Velcro, but oh, wait, no. I did it wrong. So I'm calling Dan on, on the, the demon. Okay. Dude, Definitive I'm, answer. First Kyle. of all, if I'm right, iconic. Because I called it before you even opened your mouth, Dan. 
Whatever it did. Whatever it did. All right, get out of here. All right, you're locking in. All right. Thank you, Demon Lord. Oh, God. I might get these all super wrong. That'd be horrible. That'd be yeah. really funny. Possibility. What do we have? Uh, one, two... Who else is on the table here? I have four more. I have Lena, Sam, Zach, and Olivia. Man, it's hard without the sounds. I'll just be real with you guys. A lot less dynamic. It's just a dude at a table. A couple dudes at a table. Just me and you, Ian. Just a couple guys. Right? That's right. Thanks for backing me up. Just out here sweating all on my own. Sorry, I'm, there's a lot of moving parts going on back here. Uh, okay, I believe the next person is ready. We have the magical slug creature. Oh, here. now I like I'm you. For you. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. You seem very nice. I am very nice. Are you? I think I'm a nice person in, uh, in most instances. Uh, I'm curious what you think after we talk for a little bit. We barely talk. What are you talking about? Well, tell me about you and then I could determine. I said after we talk, you're jumping to conclusions. <laughs> okay, okay. What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about why you're Zach. <laughs> what was that? Who was that? Um, you look like a minion, and that makes me endeared to you. My kids love minions. How do you feel about minions? They're cute. It's a compliment, thank you. That voice changer is good, though. It is good. It's a compliment. Okay. Do you have a favorite minion movie? Mm. How many are there? Oh, shit. Now, just wait, now, me. wait, hold on. Now I'm confused. Because I felt like I heard like a love-esque laugh there. How many are there? There's four. Come on, you should know this. I told you, it's there's four. Are you saying who's talking? Yeah. Well, you gotta give me something more. Why, what's with the one-word answers? Tell me, um... Tell me, what's the You're best... You're asking me one-word questions. Okay, what's the best book you've ever read? The best book? Why do you read? Answer the question, shrimp. I don't read. You've never read a book in your life? Never, ever, ever. What's, your, what's your favorite kind of food? What do you like to eat? I like all foods. All foods? There's not one food you dislike. I mean, maybe onions or something. I don't know. Are they allowed to That's lie to me, questions. Ian? No, they can't. They, they, they have to be honest. You gotta be honest with me, love. Love? I'm just, I'm testing. <laughs> mm. I'm being honest. I like all foods. You like all foods, just maybe not I onions. I eat everything. Everything. And you said you don't read. I'm not like a hobby, you know? I don't read. I know, I understand that. Do but you? What's the last book you read? Uh, what, well, you know who I am. You're not asking me anything. You know. I just mean, like, what kind of question is that? I just, Ooh. what do you mean? What kind of question is that? Just <laughs> seems like a pretty normal get to know you kind of thing. Some lip there. What's your and rem, reminder to the minion, the dollar store minion over here. You are I'm not allowed to lie to me. So I'll ask you one more no. time. What is your favorite book? And don't tell me you've never read a book. I mean, I don't really have a favorite, so what do you want me to say? Tell me about a book you read that you remember. Uh, I didn't read a book before. <laughs> this man has... This I person, didn't want to say, but... You've never read a book if before. If he says, no. See, there, someone's lying to me, Ian. Uh, look, I, I the snail knows they can't lie. I don't know what to tell you. The snail has to tell the truth. Well, who's your favorite uh, actor, actress crush? 
when you were a kid? My what? When you were a child, did you have a crush of like an actor or actress? No. 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 Do I look like someone who has favorites? Or someone who reads? I frankly don't know. You're making this really hard for me. If I gave you a time machine, where would you travel to? Mm, the forties, maybe. Which where? The forties. A time period. Which time period? Is that what you're asking about? Uh, the forties, I believe. Oh, the forties. Why the forties? It sounds fun. People got away with stuff. It was a different time. People got away with stuff. What do you mean by that? What kind of stuff is it that people got away with in the forties? I mean, I don't know. I'm not trying to incriminate myself and talk about things I like, but you asked the question and I answered. Mm. Okay, well, you didn't answer. I said, what kind of stuff in the 40s did they get away with? Answer the question, worm. I mean, things were different. What Dif about you? Different how? Like, you said you travel there. What's so good about the 40s? Like, you know, they didn't have the same type of technology. Oh, you want to go back to a simpler time? Yeah, I guess you can say that. Before, like, forensics and stuff. Yeah. Ugh, oh, this one's hard. I actually... Fuck. And I haven't done any of the girls yet, which makes me... Um... Which makes me very... Concerned. Um, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? I ate, um, an egg and cheese croissant from Carl's Jr. Holy fuck. Have you had that before? You had a ma- It's no. so good. The, oh, it's I know so who that so is. So okay, good. okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. I know who it is. It's Sam. Thank you. Now, what what makes you have this guess? Again, I heard the mi the mannerism in her voice when she went, it's so good. I heard, that was Sam. That was Sam. I'm sure of it. Sure of it. Whatever you say, Ethan. All right. Whatever I say, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Thank you, snail, slug. Thank you, guys. That, those voice changes are good, man. That, that sounds uncanny. It's really hard to tell. So who's left uh, on the board? You People are saying have... it's Zach. There's no way. Uh, we have a uh, Lena, Zach, and Olivia. Okay. Three left. Uh, all right. I'm seeing the guesses in the audience. They're all over the place. I don't think any of us have an idea. At first, you were very confident. The first. I thought couple. it was Zach, but then I started changing my mind. Mm -hmm. Who had a mac? But who would have had a mac and cheese breakfast sandwich from Carl's Jr.? Now, I could see Sam likes fast food. I mean, love is the obvious, but that that wasn't love. Looks like uh, we have our next person, which appears to be a version of you. It seems. And what way is that a version of me? A beanie. <laughs> That's about it, really. But okay, hello to our new uh, visitor. Hey. Huh? I. Hi. Your your beanie says tea party. What does that mean? Uh, I'm a fan of the Boston Tea Party. Oh, okay. What do you like about the Boston Tea Party? <clears throat> uh, that it was violent revolution. You like that it was violent revolution. Mm, don't get me started. Um, I won't. What, do you like the movie Chucky? You were reminding me of that franchise. Like the horror movie? Yeah, the horror movie Chucky. I don't really like it. No? What didn't you like about it? Well, too scary. Too scary, not your type of... Not, not your cup of tea, the scary movies. <laughs> huh? You okay? It appears to be glitching out a little bit there. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the scariest movie you've seen? Scariest movie I've seen? Um, that would probably... What the fuck was that? That's... Um, this is very demonic. 
Actually, Jeez. the background what? fits. What's the scariest James movie? movie? Yeah. Uh, the Chucky movie's probably up there. That one really scared me. Which one? The Chucky movie. The Chucky movie. Oh, you saw it? See, I, yeah. never, I never saw the Chucky movie. You never see it? Uh-uh. I've never seen it. Like, The Bride of Chucky, that whole thing. I've never I don't watched think it. it's... I don't think it's called the Chucky movie, though. What's the name of it? Like, the... I don't remember, killer it's, doll? it's called... It, it's like, uh... I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. So, I don't know. So why are you calling me out for not knowing the name? I mean, you don't even know the name yourself. I just... I don't know. I'm not calling you out. I just... I, I know it's not called the Chucky movie. God damn. It's hard. <clears throat> um, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? Um, I had a bagel. A bagel? That's so Dan coded. We What's have your... a bunch of bagels here at the office. That's true. That's true. We do have a lot of bagels. What did you put on the bagel? Just cream cheese. Cream cheese? Any kind of flavor? Yeah. Just regular? And it's just regular. Do you like the flavored kind of cream cheeses? Are you into those? Mm, not really. Just, no. 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 You seem kind of sad about that. Yeah. Well, it's a... And so, do you like driving? Do you like being in a car? What's your attitude do on I that? Do I like driving? Yeah, that's what I asked. That's such a weird question. Okay, well, you're not here to Who judge. Who likes so... driving? What do you mean? People like driving? I guess. Oh, shit. Is that Olivia? Olivia, is that you? Uh, my you client does not, does not have to answer that question. You can't ask that. Hi, girl. I see you out there, girl. Hey, girl. I see you. Hey girl. Give me one of these. I see you. It doesn't work. I don't think I can move my arms. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So who likes driving? That is an Olivia answer, I feel like. And what's your favorite memory? What was your favorite class in college? Um favorite class in college. I feel like if I answer, it's going to be too obvious. See, now, now this is, this, I'm going to intervene here because it could be theater. That's a giveaway. Okay. If you're leading, looking for Olivia here. I wasn't. I just want to hear, uh, you don't have, so tell me what was your second favorite class. That's good. Um, I liked, I liked history. I liked uh, history classes. Yeah. Was there a certain era that you were, that you liked? The past. The past, as opposed to the fu history of the future. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's Olivia. All right, locking in. Thank you, uh, Chucky Beanie. The tea party could also be an Olivia reference. Hmm. This is tough, though. I gotta say the the I thought the gender. Uh voice the gendered voices would be easier to detect but now i'm a little concerned i only have two left lena and zach mm. so yeah it seems to be the later ones the voice changer has been better better right better yeah, it got a little stronger the more they're the, the facial has gotten worse uh they seem to be struggling but the voice has been getting better people are saying it's zach Cam, see, you guys, you guys don't know shit. Ed, there's like everybody's name is being spammed. They're all over the place. I'm just saying, y'all think this game's so easy. Just look in the chat. Um, everyone says it's Zach. That would that would surprise me if it was Zach. It really would. I think it's Olivia. Uh, all right, who's next? All right, uh, coming up next, we have. The dragon. Is the dragon ready to speak? Yup. Oh. Dragon, what are you protecting in that cave? Gold. Gold. Lots of gold. Right. 
and what kind of where did you get your gold from? The kingdom. Which kingdom? The kingdom of gold. The kingdom of gold. Very good. Mm. Uh, Dragon, have you read uh, The Hobbit or any of the Tolkien novels? Have you? That's not what I asked, right? You know who I am. Stop with stop being know, silly. You want to have a conversation? Let's have a conversation. Let's, that's, my, that's what I'm saying. Have you read them? No, have you? Yes, I have. Did you like them? I did. Okay. Okay. Why are you, okay. Why are you being so combative? I'm just trying to talk to you. I just don't like The Hobbit. You don't like The Hobbit. Why don't you like The Hobbit? No. Not my book. Not your book. Not your book. What is your book? What is a book you like? Loter. Which? L-O-T-R, bro. What? I, I'm sorry, I just don't understand what you're saying. Say it again. L-O-T-R, bro. L-O-T-R. Lord of the Rings? You just said you yes. haven't read it. You literally just said you haven't read it. Why are you lying? <laughs> Not The Hobbit. I said Tolkien novels. I said Hobbit or any of the Tolkien novels. You are specific enough. I said all the Tolkien novels. That's like very. That gives Bro, you. Do you want to have a conversation or not? God damn, this one's hard. So okay, so you like Lord of the Rings, just not The Hobbit, right? And have you seen the movies, the trilogy? No. Seriously, are you telling me the truth? Yes. That see, that's Sam. That's giving Sam. Let me ask you this, Dragon. Yeah. Tell me a famous movie of Tom Hanks. Big. 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 That's, that's that a, a good great one. answer. But say, so tell me this then. What's a famous movie of Denzel Washington? The one with the plane. The one with the plane. Yeah. God damn, man. I don't think it's Sam, because those are pretty good answers. The one with the you. plane is definitely a cinephile answer, I think. Exactly, a cinephile. I'm pretty well informed, yeah. On film. Um, what did you have for breakfast this morning? I had half a blueberry bagel. Just half? Yes. You didn't want to finish it? No, I didn't. I had the bottom half. You had the bottom half of a blueberry bagel. What happened to the top? I didn't want it yet. You didn't need it yet. Was it filling enough for you? That doesn't seem like a big breakfast. Yes. And what did you put on the bagel? Nothing. Just a plain I had bagel? It raw. It was cold, too. Man. Who would do that? Ugh. I know it's one of the ladies. But... Why do you say that? I only... Because... Why do you say that? Just don't... Don't Why don't do you ask. say that? I think it's one of the why ladies. Why do you say that? But I only have Lena. Hey, Ethan, why do you say that? Listen. I know how us... Ethan, got why did you just say that? Why do you think that I'm a girl? Bro, let me what answer. What about what I have said has told you that I'm a girl? I'm trying to answer, but like, again, you're just being <laughs> too aggressive. Okay. God damn it. I don't think, oh, I think I am got this all so backwards. Fuck. You were very confident earlier. You thought it, you were racing through this. I'm just going to put Lena. I don't think it's Lena, but. You can swap if you'd like. You don't, you don't. Yeah, I don't know, though. Now I'm confused. I don't know who this is. It's one of the girls, for sure. Mm. Could it be Sam? Why do you think that? Could it be Sam? No. Could it be Olivia? No. Why do you, Why do you think, think that? The dragon is being very, very on you about this bagel thing. Where's a dream vacation you'd like to go on someday? Bahamas. Interesting. Anything else? Mm. 
The French Renaissance was cool. The French Renaissance for a vacation? No, I just felt like the dragon would say that. See, dragon, you have to speak from from the heart, the human heart, not the dragon heart. Go to the Bahamas. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Maybe it is Lena. You know, I don't know. All right, thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you, Dragon. All right, thank you, Dragon. Very good. Well, oh, I really, I am just stumped here. All that's left is Zach. So it's starting to fall apart here. I think. Yeah, we have one final, uh, one final contestant here. Bring out the whole contestant. So I say, Dad. But I already did, Dan, and I was so confident. Dude, you guys are all answering so many different things. Love, Dan. Dude, you guys think it's everyone. Ian. All right, we are, we are coming on our final contestant who must, by the process of elimination, is 100% Zach. Yep, because you 100%ed this, for sure. God, I was so confident. Somebody says it's Lena, so there you go. Maybe I am onto something. I think the first two threw threw you off. You you were feeling very cocky off the first two. You got a little ahead of yourself. I thought I would hear. Well, bring bring out All the right. whole uh, we're contestant. bringing out the final contestant. We have the burger. Ah, uh, the burger. Are you there, burger? <coughs> I'm here. <coughs> Why did you choose to be a hamburger? Do you love eating hamburgers? Cheese. You love meat. What's, what's what? What's not to like about a burger? Come on. That does sound like Zach coded. Uh, why would you say such a thing? And um, in your in your uh free time, what is it that you like to get up to? A little open ended mm. there. Well. Just don't answer the one that wouldn't be too obvious. Like Lego, for example. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. I like to drive around, listen to music. It's Zach, come on. <laughs> okay. Hey, Zach, let me, let me ask you this question. A bad, a bad bitch with no ass. That's not a question. Got him. That wasn't a question. No, it wasn't. Do you have any thoughts about that, though? No, I don't. No, you don't. That's, I would never say such a thing. No, of course not. Mm. Do you watch The Bachelor, or do you follow any of that kind of stuff? Mm, that narrows it down a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. What's your mm. favorite TV show? Oh, I don't really watch TV. No? Mm, no, not really. I don't really have time. You don't have time. Oh, you're so busy. Yeah. You're so busy. What are you so busy I, doing? I'm, you know. <laughs> driving around, listening to music. Oh, and come on. I, like I love doing that. Driving around. Come on with the driving around. Big of that. And so we're driving around. How do you feel about... Um, maybe that one's not a fair question. Do you watch movies? I know you don't watch TV shows. What about movies? Uh, yes, I do. What's your favorite movie? Hmm. Probably... Interstellar. Oh, really? Interstellar? I, that's not a Zach answer. <laughs> you like the other uh, hmm. Christopher Nolan films? Yes. Which, is your, which are like a few... Of your favorites beside uh, Interstellar. The burger seems to be stunned here. Uh oh. You broke the burger. We may have lost the burg. Hold on, I have to think about it. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. It seems to be a process for the burger here. Uh, the, the prestige. Dude, you just Googled some shit. Why are you lying to me? 
Someone just Googled. I'm not lying. There's just so there's so many. I just had to think about which one's my favorite. What about Inception? You don't you don't like that one? It's okay. Mm. Okay. Too complicated, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you know We're that just, um yeah, I just wasn't into it. Did you know Memento was a Christopher Nolan film? I did. That's that was another one that I really like. I was about to say that. Such a great film, right? Even before we knew like how 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 big of a director he'd become, that was really such a great movie. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do you like uh, the Do you like the kind of uh, gangster type of movies with De Niro and all that kind of stuff? I do. Yes. You do. Yes. Which Love is your fa- Which is your favorite of those ones? like Scarface. Scarface? That's... Okay. I don't know about this burger. The that, burger keeps freezing, too. Scarface isn't really a one... Is the, I don't really hold that in that whole aspect of, like, Italian Jew mobster stuff. I don't think Scar... You know what, what I'm saying? Like, the Scorsese kind of era. Scarface was something else. That's like Miami crime. Well, the burger appears to be... Yeah, he was he was Cuban. Right. All right, I think it, I, I'm just gonna put Zach. I mean, I don't think it's a terrible guess. I think it's possible that it is Zach, but that's what I'm doing. I'm sticking with it. It's harder than I thought. Why don't y'all come upstairs and let's find out who's who today on Guess That Crew? Yeah. Just that's cut right. Zach because this would be the part where he plays the. Dun, 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 the music. Guess that crew. Yeah. Very good. I am hungry. What's for dinner tonight, Ian? You got any dinner plans? Well, after, well, I'm probably going to just do some driving around, listen to some music, then oh, shit. eat a, what was it, a mac and cheese sandwich? Mac and cheese breakfast sandwich from Carl's Jr.? I didn't even know they had that. That's crazy, isn't it? That's that's like kind of a depraved choice That also, for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's big a time. twisted mind right there. Welcome back, deceivers. So I, I at least hope that my first guess is when I was super confident, all right. Welcome back, deceivers. Thank you. Good to be back. Everyone's back. And the sounds are back. Thank God. <sighs> Everyone have fun crew. down there? Yeah. yeah, that was really fun. You didn't dox us while we were gone, did you? <laughs> I guess you'll have to find, see what happens and find out the hard way. <laughs> Why do I have 100 missed calls? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's, so let's just get right started here from the beginning. I mean, let's do them in the order I did them, Ian. Okay, so the first one you did, I believe, was the turkey. The uh-huh. turkey, and I said, that's Cam for sure. I heard you, the, the cadence. Turkey, the turkey said, hello, and you said, that's Cam. That's Pretty it. Much. I knew it. It was the cadence. It was all there. I, I was so sure it was Cam. <laughs> hello? 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 Yeah. Hello? Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way, no way. I, was, no way. I almost said no way, but that would have been given away. But were you the turkey camp, dude? He hunted me down like it was wow. Thanksgiving. like a turkey shoot, baby. Yeah. Okay, so I was onto something. You were onto something with that one. Yeah, I don't know how you got that one that quick, but I don't know what happened. I I was in the matrix. I yeah. was seeing the codes, but then right. lost my powers. Mm. All right, so who is next? So the turkey was first, and then second was second the the granny. I think it was the granny. Which you guessed was A B. A B. A B. Now A B were, were you the granny? I was. Wow, okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. And two for two so Ethan, far. I believe you said that you knew it was A B when what you say shut the fuck up or something? <laughs> yeah, he said it just like A B does. Which is funny because I was trying to sound like Zach, because Zach randomly will scream shut the fuck up or something. So I thought it was Zach. <laughs> I don't know. It I just was... it felt so A B coded. Mm. But I was right. You're right. You're right. So I'm still in the Matrix. I'm still in the Matrix. So far, so good. I think after that was the anime girl at the top left. Yes. Who I said was love. I was also very confident with that answer. Was love. Um, I don't know why you would think that. Was that you? 
That was me. Oh! So right. far, so oh, good. I was, really, I was really on it, man. You were on the right wavelength for a minute that's there. That's good. That's promising. So after the love one, I really lost a lot of confidence. I think it was the minion one yeah, that's that the, came that up and really f- turned my world upside down. Mm-hmm. Now, you said that the minion snail was Sam. Yes. Was that you? That was not me. Oh, shit. Got him. Fuck. Got him. The minion was the one that had the mac and cheese sandwich for breakfast and... Uh, I'm trying to remember what else. He's being very, like, snippy with you. Yes. A lot of attitude. Yeah, a lot of attitude coming from the minion. So we have Love, we have Cam, we have AB. Yeah, those three you got. So who's being all so moody about their breakfast? (laughs) (laughs) Well, before, don't tell me. You don't want to reveal? You want to just keep going and then we'll reassess? It will will ruin the... I guess just... Yeah, why don't we... No, let's just go all the way through and then... The ones yeah. that you have wrong, we right. can reassign. Wow, people are saying Lena. Lena wouldn't snap at me like that. Who was after? Yeah, what? Who was after the? Who was after the minion? Uh, I believe the demon lord might have. The been. demon lord. This is one that I was like, this is Dan before he even opens his mouth. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid to tell you that that is not me. Damn. Fuck. Yeah, I got that one wrong too. The real premiere. What did, you had said? Like the demon lord had a bagel, and you were like, that's Dan coded. Yeah. Mm. What did you have for breakfast this morning, Dan? I did have a bagel. But so do a lot of people. Somebody else also answered that they have a bagel. We have a, bl- no, they said we have a fridge full of bagels over no, there. No, they said half a blueberry bagel. Well, okay, sure. You had, you... I ate a whole bagel. The answer said a whole bagel with cream cheese. I'm yeah. a mother freaking blueberry. Exactly. All right, so goddamn... This is all falling apart. Mm. Uh, and then after that, I believe was the tea party beanie one. The Ethan. Yes, tea the, party. The little Ethan. Bottom I left. Feel, I feel like being hidden by your laptop a little bit. Oh, sorry. I feel f- fairly confident in this one that it that it might be Olivia. Mm-hmm. Although at this point, I think they might all be wrong. If I missed two. Well, well, well Olivia, Olivia was uh, was mm-hmm. that you? No. Damn, dude, it's all falling apart. I just, yeah. They're all wrong. Not enough choices. Mm. Everybody got no. choice. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then so the hamburger was not Zach. But... So, yeah, uh, so the burger, Zach, were you the burger? I was not. Damn. Damn. And it then... all just falls apart. When you get wrong, one wrong, you get two wrong. Mm-hmm. And then the last one was the dragon, which, uh, Lena, were you the dragon? Dragon? No, no, I wasn't. All right, so let me rework this. Okay. Lena is the minion. Is that correct? Here, put your, put it in and then let's... Put in your new guesses. You get a second round of guesses and then we'll reveal if you still have any. Actually, I don't really remember... <laughs> Lena does, <laughs> Lena does have kind of a... You and AB kind of eat like pretty wild sometimes too, right, AB? I'm literally eating granola out of a Dunder Mifflin cup. So I don't know what you're <laughs> but like a Carl's Jr. mac and cheese breakfast sandwich? That's 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 out, Intense. man. That's crazy. But I'm eating like a kava bowl right now. That's totally normal, totally healthy. Mm-hmm. Why are you getting so defensive? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I'm just saying <laughs> just because AB eats one way doesn't mean it's a reflection on myself. That's all. I ate Cheetos while I was downstairs waiting for the segment to finish. <laughs> all right, it, just some is is Lena the minion? I <laughs> am. Uh, yeah. That sure is. Yeah, you didn't expect that she could be so harsh. Or snippy. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that you called her Snippy Dan. That was my nickname for her when uh-huh. I first met her. I called her. Oh, Snippy. there you go. Aww. So tell me about this mac and cheese breakfast sandwich from Carl's Jr. I said egg and cheese. Oh, egg not, and cheese. Yeah, not egg Snack and cheese. cheese. That really threw yeah, me. Yeah, that would be weird. Yeah. Move eggshells. <laughs> All right. Wow. That one was tough. Um, I don't know. Just tell me one by one. Who was the dragon? Uh, the dragon. Who was the dragon? The dragon was... was Olivia. Olivia. Hey. Yeah. I can't remember my conversation. 
Dragon, Dragon, you were asking about The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings and, and stuff. For some reason, you knew I was a girl because I had a blueberry bagel. Yeah, you ate half a blueberry bagel. I know these <laughs> these beasts in here. <laughs> we ain't half. That's like some. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know. I got you, girl. Yeah. Um. Uh. And then damn. The uh, burger. Who was the burger? Who's the burger? I was the burger. Oh, she was the boyga. The expert on this. And it? girl, I had no idea who Christopher Nolan was. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, but you're lying. You're not allowed to lie. <laughs> what? That's a bending of the burger rules, I think. She's not allowed to lie. You that was lie? the rule that we established. Why does it lie? How am I supposed to know who it is? If they lie, I can't I see know. their voice. Well, okay. And I can't hear. An impossible I, burger. I was last, and you had already said it was Zach, so I was like, what would Zach like? Wait, you said Interstellar unprompted, though, didn't you? Yeah, that, that was, was just so a funny. movie that I knew. So funny. There you go. Ian, Sam has cheated. Yeah, unfortunately, you can never be a, a burger again. You've been disqualified from playing a burger. Thank you. On the show. At least somebody cares about the rules here. <laughs> I apologize, but no more. <gasps> no more burgers. I was asking Sam questions, and she was dodging them. Mm -hmm. Those answers were almost... Revealing in itself because that person had never seen a movie and it sounded like yeah, that sounded yeah I mean, that was okay, a, sure obvious okay. bullshit. Sure. So you weren't cheating <laughs> Yeah, all right, so on. Sam is the burger. We have tea party and the demon so the demon who was the demon? I was the demon. What was that demon? Called? The demon combo the conversation with the demon. Oh the combo. You asked me about the uh, uh, rapture creature, whatever I forgot what it was called. Oh yeah, the Nephilim. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Thought I had Zach. Uh huh. And that just leaves one person. Yeah, for the tea party. Which I was trying to make you think I was Olivia, and you guessed Olivia. So I'm very proud of myself. Yeah, you played the part. I was you doing played the, the part Olivia well. inflections. Dang. Yeah. Were you lying? No, I didn't lie. I didn't, actually didn't lie at all. You asked me. What my favorite uh, class in uh, college would be. I said it would be too specific. You said second, and I said history. It's all true. Did you? You said what topic in history? I said the past. <laughs> Did you? You know, <laughs> awesome. Ian, these these are not fair. Ian, you need to get these these people in line. You were bending the rules, too. Give me a break. Come yeah. on. No, you give me a break, Dan. You give me a break. So what there it was a kick commercial. People are saying, I knew all of them. I scored perfect. Sure, sure, sure. I saw people saying, oh, the voice changer isn't that good. I can tell all these. And then they would say that, and then I would see the chat spamming the wrong person. So it's a little bit better than you thought. The the voice changers were really crazy. Some of them were nuts. It's po Damn. Maybe we should have... I don't know. I don't know if it would have been better or worse to use the same one for everyone. <clears throat> Because I feel like if it was consistent across the whole thing, you would be able to pick up on people's inflections more easily. So, were you disguising your voice, or were you speaking your natural? I was kind of talking like this. See, I said, "Hey!" Oh when God. I came up to the mic, I was like, "Hey, Ian, mm -hmm. do we? Is this cheating, Ian? It's not cheating. I think. It, Give me. But if I can't see, right? And if I can't hear you, what what else do I have to go off? I told you I didn't lie. You asked the questions. I gave you honest answers. Okay, I should have asked you, is that your, are you doing something with your voice? <laughs> Did it what it could have. There it is. Did it what it could That's the game, folks. That's it. Three points scored. Woo! It's a tough game out there. It's not easy. But we try our best, folks, and that's all you can ask. It's not easy. Sure isn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, congratulations to everyone in the chat who got a perfect score on that one. And thank you everyone for playing. Get You're so welcome. That thank you. crew. And thank you everyone for watching today's episode. It is Wednesday, a beautiful Wednesday. And tomorrow we'll be returning at 10 a.m. For leftovers, and uh, we'll shall see you there. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night. I love you so much. Ta ta.